the Lord. Let's lift up our hands everywhere inside and outside. Let's bless His name. Father, we give you all the praise. Bless Him in one minute. Let's lift our hands. Jesus, we honor you for the mighty things that you will do tonight. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead and exalt Him. power in this place. Jesus, we bless you. Thank you. In one minute, I want you to pray and say, Father, invade my life and change everything. Everything that needs to be changed. Can you pray? Pray with faith in your heart. Jesus will bless you. Make it ma, 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 From the depths of your heart. Make it more, make it more, make it more. Papu, papu, Babu, Babu, when he come the clay. Oh, 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 able to allow atmosphere that permits the multifaceted dimensions of him to find expression is a prize to create that atmosphere but if and when you do then there is no limit to his outstretched arm if and when you do the prize is the alignment and the discernment to be able to set that atmosphere are we together now and when that atmosphere is set and then he comes then he reveals jesus in a remarkable way spirit of the living god we thank you mighty things you will do mighty things you will do we honor you and we bless you in the name of jesus god bless you please be seated for a few minutes our time is gone there's so much to do hallelujah can we honor all those who have led prayers, worship, great people. Bless our worship team.
International is the name. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, this is a big shock. I'm just realizing, oh my God, please let's honor Reverend Ubandoma and his lovely wife. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Please be seated. I was hinted he would be around, but I didn't know it would be for the video too. Bless you, sir. Bless you, ma. Amen. Let's look at um, a few things. I just um, want to encourage us on a few things and then we'll pray. John 14 verse 12. Thank you, Jesus. Those following us online, the Lord bless you. The Lord will honor you and touch you. And um, those outside, there are so many people. Overflow one, two, three, four by the road. May the Lord honor you and bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me just take a minute or two to inspire and encourage someone. Um, I just felt it really strong while I was preparing to come. Before we look at that scripture, you can leave it up there. But you see, let me teach you something about commanding results. Among the many factors that are responsible, please listen. Among the many factors that are responsible for producing results, you need a very strong sense of desire and determination. No one ever succeeds becoming passive, careless, and um, less as fair about life. There is a level of passion and commitment you must communicate, whether it is the pursuit of spiritual things, your finances, your life, ministry, business, whatever it is. Success will always find expression in an environment where passion, desire, you know, lots of believers want great things. They want to step into deep dimensions of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Many people want to walk in miracles, signs, and wonders. They want very superior dimensions of the Spirit manifested in their lives. But largely, our, the communication of our desire and our determination, the staying power, the capacity to remain until that dimension is unfolded in your life. I think that that is where many of us believers need to make a lot of adjustments. We are generally very passive, very, very passive and very quite careless over the communication of our determination for spiritual things. And you see, the thing about God is it takes a level of desire. God loves everybody. He does not trust everybody. Trust is based on a track record. A track record of hunger. A track record of a, a predeterminate desire in your heart. Many of us have come here tonight. I came, I saw people outside, you know, some lying flat, trusting God for a miracle. Probably they were carried here. You know and all of that there must be a desire you may not have the power in yourself to lift yourself up from the wheelchair or from the crutch or whatever it is but you must communicate that passion i love the people who led the prayers they kept adjusting our faith to understand that look it will take a hunger and a desire the moment you have options then forget about encounters are we together you have to insist tonight and say, Lord, I'm not walking out of here barren. I'm not walking out of here sick. I'm not walking out of here with the same level of confusion. I'm not walking out of here bankrupt of that dimension of the anointing. I came with an exact desire, an exact intention. And whenever you insist, you provoke the hand of God. This is very true. Psalm 30 look at 37 i think it should be 37 it just came to my spirit i'm searching for that scripture now yeah delight yourself also in the lord and he shall give thee the what the desires of thy heart it is possible for god to come to a man 
and not be able to communicate anything because there is no desire are we together now now you see god is almighty his possibilities are endless it takes the construction that our faith builds to channel the dimension of him that we seek to see revealed in our lives are we together now if you're not barren there is no need god coming to reveal himself as one who can open up your womb you're not barren that dimension of him is possible but it is not needed as far as your desires are concerned so it is the responsibility of the believer to intentionally use your faith to create an exact expectation lord i am trusting that you will visit me i am crippled i'm trusting that this leg will work lord there are all kinds of oppression in my life all doors have been closed i'm trusting that the doors be open you cannot say lord just come do whatever you want to do that's not a very wise prayer you have to define he said give us this day he didn't just say what we want give us this day our daily bread he can give many things he sent quails he sent bread he brought water out of the rock there are several things he can do you define the possibilities of god that should be communicated to you through your faith but much more than just blind faith through specificity specificity of desire specificity of um, intention are we together now so i just thought that it is very important in fact this is a general principle that works in life not just when it comes to receiving from god you will never achieve anything when there is no exact desire you will never achieve anything when there is no specificity there has to be that dimension of exactness lord i am trusting you for a move of the spirit in my life i'm trusting you that my ministry will step into another dimension i'm trusting you that my family will step into another dimension end the plague of sickness and all kinds of things when you connect this way then it becomes impossible for you to walk without a miracle hallelujah praise the lord let me encourage our hearts this morning before we rise up john 14 verse 12 i am a firm believer in the bible the words of jesus are no story to me when i read them i believe them they are not just scripture they are life i believe them exactly as they are written jesus is teaching here and this is what he says verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me whoever believes on me he says the works that i do he shall also do and greater works than this shall he do because i go to the father jesus now there are all kinds of theological debates as to what exactly jesus was talking about um, many people meant a higher dimension of reality other people talk of greater results regardless of what dimension you look at it jesus was saying there is a possibility of walking in a dimension that you were not born with listen carefully a dimension that is god's own class of results are we together now he's teaching us how to live a life that is invincible and this is what he says he says that greater dimensions that you have seen manifest you will walk in and you see every time god speaks before he utters a word he vets and probes himself whether he has the capacity to make good that word every time he speaks it is a communication of a a resolve he has searched and he has found out that what he's saying is within his capacity to produce it there are several people in need of the touch of god people talk about anointing all the time they want to step into deeper dimensions they want to tap into the wave of revival that is sweeping across cities and by the way i want you to know that there is a mighty move of god that is happening across the continent of africa specifically nigeria um, away with all those blind talks that people talk as if nothing is happening it takes the eye of the spirit to see the formation there is a mighty mighty move of the spirit an awakening that is sweeping across and what a joy it is to participate in contributing our quota to that 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 unstoppable tsunami that will sweep across the nations of the earth the, the word of god is full of prophecies that points to those seasons 
that a time will come in the dealings of God with men where they will be able to tap into higher dimensions of his possibility. They will be able to cause his glory to be revealed across territories in measures and dimensions that have not been previously known. So I want you to believe upfront that we are a people who believe all of God and we are a people who have aligned ourselves to allowing God find full expression. There is no limit to the dimension of God that can be revealed. Every time God looks limited, the limitation is not his capacity. It is our inability to understand his system and to align enough to bring down, to be able to host all the multifaceted possibilities that are contained in him. Are we together now? And tonight there are several cases. Right from home I began to see several situations that touched my heart and I said, Lord, you can't let your people go that way. And the Lord put something in my heart that I just want to share with us very briefly and then we'll pray. I have a passion and a commitment to helping people have an encounter, a true encounter, not just a noise-making encounter, an encounter with a definite result that you will leave and it will be very clear that heaven found expression in your life, heaven found expression in your situation, heaven found expression that your life will be an epistle to let people know that Jesus is not limited in any way. If you believe that, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. First John chapter 5 and verse 4. Apostle John taught us something very remarkable. First John chapter 5 and then verse 4. And he said, For whatsoever is born of God, whatsoever is born of God has capacity to overcome the world. Are we together now? That's the expression there whatever is born of god has capacity to overcome the world but then he says that that overcoming is engaged through a system the dear lady who led prayer here taught us about spiritual intelligence are we together every time you see possibilities in scripture now there are two dimensions i've taught you of accessing the reality of scripture there is the prophetic dimension realities as far as god's dimension is concerned but there is the experience of it where it becomes manifest in your life on the strength of your engaging the required mysteries that demonstrate your partnership with God to actualize it. Are we together now? So here the Bible says, whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. The rendition there is has capacity enshrined in it is the composition to overcome this system and all the limitations that come with it and then he says and this is the victory in other words this is the system wherewith the victory was designed to find expression he says even our faith even our faith even our faith it takes faith in this kingdom to be able to produce realities that have been represented in scripture realities that are capable of being our testimony the fact that the bible records them does not mean they will happen automatically i think this is one of the biggest challenges to the body of christ i don't think we are unaware of the provisions that are guaranteed from scripture but the systems everybody says systems say it one more time systems the systems of the kingdom that were built around those possibilities the inability to access what system was designed to produce what outcome will make us continue to look at scripture and believe they are there but never walk in the experience of it it is god's desire not only that we read the bible and see possibilities written therein but that our lives become epistles that those realities that are represented in the Bible must find expression in my life and your life. When the Bible says that a believer should walk in miracles, signs and wonders, we can read it, we can write books about it, but there is, is an entirely different thing to engage the systems required to bring that individual into an experience of it. Are we together? The Bible says, for instance, they shall lay hands on the sick many people have tried it they laid hands on the sick and the sick were not healed 
every time you try a thing and it does not work there is something you do not understand about what you studied that's why it takes the spirit of revelation Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 the prayer of Paul to the church you don't have to turn there he cried they were born again they were believers but he knew that they needed to be assisted by a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit otherwise they would never enter into the experience of the kingdom Nicodemus came to Jesus by night chapter 3 of John and he says verse 1 rabbi he says we know that thou art a man sent from God for no man can do these things and then he said unto him in verse 3 he says verily verily I say unto you except a man be born again listen carefully he says he cannot see the kingdom then the next verse Nicodemus says how can, how can a man be born for a second time can he enter back into his mother's womb and then verse 5 he opens up, up to another dimension he says verily verily I say unto you except a man listen be born of what water and the spirit then he says he cannot enter so he talks of seeing the kingdom an awareness of the possibilities that are there you know that there is a provision in the dealings of God with men for the sick to be healed there is a provision in the dealings of God with men where men are immune from the ability of sicknesses to touch them there is a provision where we are lifted above the grip of 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 demons and devils but it's one thing to have that awareness listen believers but it's another thing to understand the systems and the mysteries that were attached to be able to cause us to walk in the experience of that outcome so we we hold several scriptures that we cannot defend with our lives there is a possibility for restoration but what is the key that is attached i am passionate about revealing to believers the mysteries that are responsible for causing spiritual realities to become their experience just like shortly we are going to be celebrating the victory miracles upon miracles but the issue is not just an anointed man the issue is that underlying these miracles and testimonies and the manifestations of the grace and the power of god are vessels that have aligned themselves through understanding you see most of us um the theology about faith listen carefully the theology about faith that is being communicated as powerful as it is may limit us from walking in the experience of the power the grace and the revelation of all that is contained in god faith is not just believing unseen things um they don't have to be unseen faith it's not just believing on seeing things so that they will manifest that's a dimension of it but faith listen true bible faith the foundation for true bible faith starts with an encounter an encounter without an encounter you will not have true bible faith an encounter is not a vision an encounter is an experience that is initiated by the holy spirit that causes a spiritual truth a reality the reality of a scripture to be crystallized in your heart the end of an encounter is conviction the end of an encounter is conviction you'll never be able to walk in a dimension where you are guessing and hoping and wondering no sir encounters are necessary for believers that's why the holy spirit was given to us the spirit of truth are we together now so he introduces encounters in our lives you can read the bible and quote a scripture it doesn't mean you've had an encounter with that scripture you may even learn it and know it of heart sincerely speaking it has not been released in your heart but when the holy ghost breathes upon it it does something to you and that scripture comes alive it's called an encounter occasionally it may be backed up by visionary experiences to strengthen your conviction but the end of encounters is that you get to a point of persuasion unbending resolve persuasion about the possibility of god as far as that matter is concerned 
are we blessed second timothy please chapter 1 and verse 12 let's look at second timothy 1 verse 12 the b part second timothy chapter 1 and verse 12 The B part says, For I know whom I have believed. Everybody say, I know whom I have believed. Now, you went to school, understand that construction. It didn't say, I have believed. Uh -uh. I know whom. So it's talking about a person first. I had an encounter, and that encounter caused me to believe that person and everything that proceeds from him. Are we together now? And then he says, And I am persuaded that he that person i've had an encounter with is able 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 an understanding of a man's ability an understanding of god's ability i have had an encounter with him i have had an encounter with his word so when i read and he says they shall lay hands on the sick it's not just story it's not just religion this is the foundation of true bible faith so there are no options in it again you know that it is within his power to change my situation you don't say well lord i will try you let me hope that you will work today if you don't work no 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 there is a, rev a level of resilience you see the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions it's obvious from the way we live and act as believers that there is a void there is a lapse in conviction and this is a product of um the haze that is around our encounters with the word of god not the reading of it not the memory of it but that there is a gap it is obvious if i look at this gentleman right now and i tell you do you know you are sitting on the ground he's not going to pray about it he knows he's sitting on a seat are we together he's had an encounter with that seat his his even his physical senses have have responded to that reality he knows he's sitting no matter how i try to sway him he has entered a dimension of resolve he knows he's sitting on a seat if i tell him this seat is going to break he says no not just that i, I have seen the dimensions i understand the strength of this seat it can take my weight listen God allows you to vet him and probe him until you find him worth your trust. God does not get angry when you ask him questions that lead to your faith being strengthened. Uh -uh. Mary said, how shall these things be seeing that I know not a man? And the angel took out time to explain. This is how it will happen. Gideon said, Lord, you are sending me to go and fight the Midianites. I need to stand with conviction. I know those guys. They are fierce. And so is it okay if I ask for a sign? It is powerful to stay with God until you are convinced. I know that there are people here, pastors who have come from several places. Let me challenge you. Do not make boastful statements until they come from the strength of an encounter it will destroy your life you will destroy your ministry you will lack explanations you will schedule a season of untold suspicion in your life i always say never stand before pharaoh until you have seen the burning bush say encounters bible faith starts with encounters encounters produce convictions convictions now allow you to act and take steps it is that step that is called faith hello believing is not faith believing is part of the process that leads to faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction of who God is and the integrity of his word that's faith until action is taken there is no faith are we together now I've always given this example um, let me use you John hold on I'm going to stand there stand there just stand there I'm going to call John I want you to answer me but don't come is that all right John come say I'm coming has he come so as far as I'm concerned, you have not obeyed me because this should be the reward for your obedience. Now, you have answered that you are coming, 
but you have not come i interpret your not coming as a sign that you you are expressing concern about my reliability you are wondering if i really have this but if i say john come and you come come that step of faith puts pressure on my integrity if i am joking i better found a way of correcting it are we together now yes the bible tells us in acts chapter 4 listen the bible says that one time they were going at the hour of prayer and then the bible says that they saw a man who was crippled now they were not stupid that man was crippled if you've seen a crippled man you know that there are no strength in his limbs even if he stands you know that he would take the grace of god and then the bible says that he was calling on them to give him arms and then peter said silver and gold have i none he said but such as i have listen i give unto you he says in the name of jesus i come under an authority i represent a government and i invoke the power that backs that government and i ask you if you believe stand the bible says the man was still looking at them now i hope you know the holy ghost was already hovering with all his possibilities but at the mercy of a man who has not manifested faith and then the bible says peter had to help him hold my hands the bible says peter held his hands and he leaping leaping the power is released at the point of action it is the action that makes it faith not the determination to act the determination to act helps you to eventually manifest faith but the faith is only when action is taken he leaping stood he leaping stood he would have remained there forever he leaping stood are we together now yes so when 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 you hear the word of god you see this is why the dispensing of the word of god is so important because faith is based on a basis and the basis is not good word the basis is not good intention a nice positive statement cannot give you faith it does not have the capacity to release that god is only committed to backing what is his word are we together now if it is not consistent with his character and it is not his word there is no platform you may act but you are not acting upon the word you are acting upon an information so the word of god comes and then you hear that word listen like you are hearing right now and you believe and the holy ghost helps your own belief he supplies to you that grace and that enablement number one to consider that god is able it is within his power to create scenarios around your mind and your spirit that strengthens your conviction he can remind you and say lest you doubt have you forgotten that january this year something was about to happen and all of these anchors together to build your faith because a response will be needed shortly from you and that response must be on its on the standpoint of conviction everybody say conviction how do you look at someone who is barren and tell the person go it takes a while for pregnancy to show and that woman believes it's not when she meets with her husband that she gets pregnant no the husband only gives the word manifestation right and she leaves or you have seen someone like some of you are sick now and then when it's time to say be healed all of a sudden how do you explain someone having a lump or a growth or a cancer and at the speed a fraction of a second is gone brothers and sisters that's what faith does i want you to believe this the bible says this is the victory this is the system where we believers command victory as an experience by engaging their encounters produce persuasion lord you are not a joker lord you believe i i believe you your word is true your word is real you are you are not trying to flatter me you gave jesus christ that would not be a joke on the cross and on the strength of that lord i am willing to act listen the final step is action but not blind action it has to be the action required by god this is where we miss it again 
are we together confession is a generic action that it is the manifestation of the spirit of faith the bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written i believe and therefore i speak so we believe and therefore we speak are we together speaking is a generic action but there are many possibilities we want to produce in our lives that require actions that must be added in addition to speaking for instance the action that is required for your heavens to be open is that you bring before the lord your tithe are we together now no matter how much you confess your heavens opening you must take that action and if you take that action not believing you just dropped money you drop 10 percent of an amount it's not a charm the power is released through understanding i am coming because i have an understanding i have a comprehension of what i am doing and lord i thank you because you are my high priest standing in heaven hebrews 7 and verse 8 the bible says here on earth men gave tithes but in heaven he received them talking about the system with which god performs that function of his office that is in the order of melchizedek right like he received the tithe of abraham and spoke a blessing upon abraham so he our melchizedek our high priest receives that tithe and authorizes that the heavens be open and that the blessing is activated on our lives but that will never happen just by dropping money it's not about the money there is an understanding so your tithing is the specific action that is tied to that open heavens are we together now you pray and fast it is spiritual but it will not replace the action wherewith that result was tied to so it is important that we have understanding to know what action has been defined by god's wisdom that is tied to the outcome we desire are we together one time jesus prayed for someone who was blind and the bible says in this case he spat on the ground and then made sputum out of it and put it in his eyes and said go wash at the pool called Siloam that is sent now that was the action if that man turned and started praising God and danced there for one day he would never be open he would, the eyes would not be open he was taking action but the action was not the one required are we together now Mary understood this and said whatever he tells you to do do not whatever you think he wants to be done so it is important that you find out what is the system of this partnership as far as this is concerned i want multiplication i want increase is it a possibility in god yes it is now i believe it but what is the system tied what does god require that a man do as a symbol of his partnership with him to actualize that dimension of reality we must find out so when we start scripture we are not just trying to know we are finding our place of partnership in scripture when you find it then you rejoice because you have found the key to committing god this that action is what we call faith and the bible says it is the victory that overcomes hmm. the victory that overcomes so what is the key to your healing the bible says they came to hear and to be healed there is no healing when the word does not come for that and when the word of god comes the power of god is present to heal and then the word comes but when the word comes it does not heal you automatically the word comes and somewhere along the line it produces conviction after conviction the word will compel obedience either through an instruction or whatever it is there are conditions for reception when you come for a meeting like this there is a condition to receive number one is to believe in the lord number two is to believe the vessel he will use believing the lord alone will not give you a miracle no sir it will always come from god through men to you are we together Jesus went to certain cities and the Bible says he could not do mighty works. That was not the limitation of his power. It was not the limitation of his spirit. But the inaccurate understanding of the people to create an alignment that can afford him to move in the dimension that they desire. Tonight, listen, ladies and gentlemen, God did not gather us here to waste our time. It is within his power to change our lives. 
it is within his power to wipe our tears are we together now seated here tonight are people who truly truly require all kinds of miracles there are people here to resuscitate their spiritual life it's like it's like it's like a man in icu a lot has gone haywire the prayer life spiritual life and you're trusting god that there be a true encounter that refires your love for god you must understand the object of your desire and you must understand the system that helps you achieve that miracle there are people here tonight in response to delay and stagnation nothing seems to work nothing it is a bit comforting if other doors open and others are closed it will inspire you to trust that others but it's a terrible thing when all doors in your life close family closed finances closed your body everything closed there are people here because of an acute state of limitation invisible barriers around your life limitation is not retardation limitation is that a a mark has been created that you cannot cross so you rise and you get to a certain place and there is something that pegs you at that level and you never rise i watch it all the time pastors leaders business people individuals helplessly limited sincere but they are limited tonight the god i serve will take that limit away There are people here with sicknesses, diseases, infirmities, real sicknesses. Probably with death sentences from different medical hospitals. And um, maybe they've told you you have a few months to live. You have a few weeks to live. Now, and of course, we have a lot of doctors here. I respect their opinion. That's their opinion. Is their educated opinion. But tonight whose report will you believe i believe in jesus i believe in his words there are people here with all kinds of marital and family issues husband is about to go wife is about to go children are haywire and they are trusting lord would you give us order of course it is within his power to bring sanity and order i mentioned these things to build your faith to help you know that your situation is within the scope of god's understanding and he can deal with it because sometimes we stay so long in the decadence of our situations that we wonder if god is aware that such a thing can happen to men let me tell you the god we serve is all knowing all knowing and it is within his power to solve that problem tonight there are people here with all kinds of barrenness all kinds biological barrenness and all sorts of unfruitfulness in different areas probably trusting god for children and all of that i came back from abuja um in the course of the week and um when i went there i was i was counseling a few people and then i saw a young lady i think a, a couple or so i can't remember exactly and they were excited the last time i was there the woman the lady had been they'd been trusting god for a child all kinds of funny medical reports you know she had something in her womb her tubes i don't know what what they gave all kinds of stories and there she had given birth you know to a very bouncing healthy a child and she was telling me the news and laughing listen be careful what you believe it is within your power to choose what you believe nothing forces itself on you you can choose this is a wonderful thing this is a fact but i choose to reject it it's a choice anything that is not consistent with the counsel of god it is within your power to choose to reject it are we together there are people here under all kinds of academic and career challenges no job no lifting all kinds of strange occurrences that are not consistent with god's desire how about demonic patterns mysterious occurrences in the lives of people patterns that you cannot account for 
God wants to step in. There are people here, and I believe this probably affects a lot of people, especially with the recession, the reality of lack and poverty. Lord, what is the way out? Lord, what is the way out? I can't keep struggling from hand to mouth. We've shared extensively. There are all kinds of teachings about the economic system of the kingdom and I would plead that you get those teachings they are free because when it comes to prosperity the gospel has to be taught there is an understanding that must be built in your mind now God can give you breakthrough as a communication of his might and mercy but you are never established financially through breakthrough it will take an understanding to build a system that lifts you out of the realm and the grip of poverty forever say amen there are people here trusting God for direction. You have come confused, not knowing what to do. You thought you had God, but right now you are in the middle of total confusion and God must speak for you. I want to welcome you because in his presence there is direction. And finally, all of these are lists that the Spirit of God was just writing out for me as I, I mean just stating out as I, I, I wrote them out. And lastly, there are people here trusting God for very strong impartations. What is an impartation? A transference of possibilities. Transference of possibilities. Impartation is as real as the chair you are sitting on. You can transfer possibilities. Possibilities also come with the alignment that makes those dimensions of the anointing function freely transference of possibility see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that if you are not sure it is not there it's like a woman who is pregnant for a while she may doubt if she's pregnant or not but the time comes it becomes very clear very obvious regardless of where your request falls in this i want you to know that the god of heaven who has gathered us tonight will visit you and give you testimonies it's going to be a very quick walk tonight the lord is going to be healing the sick the lord is going to be setting the captives free and like i told us last week it is also an anointing service and i don't i don't do anointing services carelessly but there are instructions that god gave me the anointing oil that will be used tonight the lord asked me it's been with me since uh, i think yesterday i prayed with it all through until um, it was only this morning while I was coming that I carried it and brought it. There is a heavy grace. Oil does not anoint. The oil has to be anointed itself by a, a vessel who is anointed. Nothing is anointed on its own. It has to be anointed to become a platform. Are we together now? Tonight, what is your responsibility? Be convicted. Be persuaded that God is able. All that has happened before now, the prayers, the testimonies, and all of that is to build your faith. Some of you are coming here for the first time. You've heard about the miracles. Many of you have a cynical attitude of doubting men of God. Everybody you see walking in unusual dimensions of the anointing. We have joined naysayers around town to think everybody is fake. Everybody is a devil. Everybody is using charm. You know, I humorously said it last week. Uh, even if you use charm the condition to carry the kind of power you see even through a charm is a condition that you have to think twice people just say it as if you just collect a charm and put it in your pocket no sir God gave gifts to men the gifts are not talents the gifts are people he anointed people by his predetermined counsel so that they can be platforms to be able to communicate his possibilities to people i'm honored every time i have the opportunity to minister there are people streaming from all over the world with different issues several nations at least 47 or so nations of the world if i'm not mistaken connecting and god cannot be joking he's not playing games with us are we together everybody say i believe say lord tonight i believe you i know you are able and i trust you to step in in the name of jesus it will be for you like day and night just all of a sudden you will find out that that door that has been closed maybe forever listen it doesn't take time time is not in the equation i've taught you this time is never in the equation the anointing of the spirit is not a suggestion 
the anointing of the spirit is god's possibility at work in men that causes men to manifest results they were not born with are we together now we are talking about a dimension that is superior to any intelligence of men this is not some kind of superior science this is not superior spiritism we are talking of god showing up in the scene standing face to face with a man's barrier hallelujah i want you to be angry tonight and insist thank you and say lord that door must be open i was so touched and blessed during the prayer session have you experienced the reality of triumph i mean there are people here who whose testimonies have been tearsome tonight you can activate something that will make your six to eight hours spent here to be worth the while that you get up in the morning and within three days one door opens another door opens another dimension of encounter all of a sudden hunger all of a sudden you step back to your church and fire on the altar i mean just by stepping and people are rising up from wheelchairs and miracle signs and wonders you bless people you shake someone's hand and all through that day a door opens you introduce something i believe it i believe it the lord wants to turn you to literally be supernatural supernatural not just in this blind talk of supernatural that does not produce results literally that your life becomes a testament that they would look at you like they did Paul and Barnabas and they call them Zeus and Hermes, Greek gods because they, they discerned that this level of result cannot happen with men listen, believe it believe it brothers and sisters yokes are breakable causes are destroyable limitations are breakable are you hearing what I'm saying? sicknesses are healable anointings are impartable there is nothing that you desire don't make it look as though god is mising his power no he is able to stretch his hands and do mighty things but you must believe tonight we love ourselves but everybody is going to have to stand and contend and say lord i have seen a dimension of your grace but i must step into it lord i have seen a dimension of breakthrough and favor but it's not yet a reality in my life. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be you over. You are the victor. You are the victor's crown. Hold on. You overcome. You know why I started singing that song? I saw a crown. That's why I started singing it. Listen, you see, the way the Spirit of God works is that He reveals the dimension of God that He wants to make manifest in the midst of the people. Are we together now? That's why I raised that song. You need to learn how to partner with the supernatural. He shows you like a luring. This is the dimension. It's up to you to respond. Yeah, Lord, we receive the spirit and the bride telling the word to come. The word has revealed his intention. So the spirit communicates to the bride. And the bride in partnership with the spirit says, come. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, miracles. Come, breakthroughs. Come, deliverances come open doors come speed come speed loose chains loose bands god is a mighty god do not allow your situations diminish the power of god it doesn't take time the level of grace it takes to produce your results is available mm. it's available I've taught you that there are three dimensions for reception in the spirit number one is through encounters 
when you have an encounter something is deposited into you number two by obedience to principles there is a dimension of god's power that is deposited in principles whether a believer or an unbeliever whoever activates those principles that dimension of his power is released immediately like the power of seed time and harvest is not for christians a dimension of god's power was encapsulated in that principle but the third dimension of reception is alignment through a man's covenant with god men have covenant with god not old and new their dealings with god have brought them to a point where god has vowed a vow on their behalf and you can stand upon the platform of their dealings with god and receive realities that your faith level cannot afford every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you will fit us round you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you will fit us round you overcome you overcome let me tell you something that happened yesterday i didn't plan to share it but but something happened i was sleeping and i had a dream i thought it was a dream yesterday now while i was sleeping i had a dream and then because i had kept the jar of oil and i opened the cover and then i had a dream now you know i don't share so much of my encounters because there are all kinds of cynical people and i had the, a dream and then the lord was telling me you know I should how I'm going to pray on the oil that later on we use to minister to you and then something strange happened I just opened my eyes and there was an angel standing at the door my door now now those those experiences are not strange to me you know but this was very unique he stood there and I looked and oil started coming out of my hand and the Lord says I should put my hand on this jar this jar and I tell you I was surprised it would almost be maybe the quarter the size of a cup i just put my hand there and i was just praying in the spirit that was the instruction that god gave me gave me that instruction that's why i told you oil does not anoint there is an encounter there is an encounter are we together now there is an encounter and when it began to happen i was i was i was well i wasn't surprised but then when everything was done the angel never even said anything just at my door just stood there and was watching and when it was time i noticed of course my hands were still wet but it didn't seem to be flowing and that was it whether he went through the door went up i don't even know how he left and that was the end of it right from the time you know my boys that come to work for me i started sensing that there were going to be visitations of the spirit and i was hurrying up to dismiss them as soon as they left i just locked the door and i sat down and boom my room was full of god's presence and all of that and, and i i when i sat down my eyes were open and all of a sudden i saw gates gates opening like gates very strange gates opening but then I knew that God by that vision was telling me what among other things would happen in the meeting but most importantly what the anointing would do listen ladies and gentlemen the Lord will bring breakthroughs in your life today that will surprise you you believe that rise up on your feet I want you to lift up your voice and pray one minute you say father I'm set for your visitation my faith is alive and I believe you lift your voice and pray my faith is alive I believe you Jabrandos Katabrakatalados Enkreto Katalabrande Sekatebrakatalabadash Jabrete Katebroskodo Brandi Gedibalash Jabrandes Kariada Balara Balara Bosch Lord, we receive. We receive. Hallelujah. We are going to be very fast. Tonight is a vigil. I know that, in fact, you can't believe how far time has gone. But I trust God for grace tonight. I want to see how God will grant me grace. And I'll be able to come out to all the overflows all the overflows one two three
by the grace of God and he will grant us grace in the name of Jesus Christ 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 please bring the three people now that the power of God comes I'm seeing an angel walking and touching three people in here all inside here now Will you open up the gate? Yeah. Open up the door. Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. The gate, the gate, open up the door. Shabranda Karato Sodo Braska da Bali of the Kata. Open up the gate. Shabranda Kata Sodo Bosco la Barian da Kata. Open up the door. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for breakthrough now. Such a strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. There are people here who have been tied. It's time to release that grace for breakthrough. And I want you to bring them out. Please don't stop playing. Please, guys. We know she's on. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Right now, at the count of three, let that breakthrough anointing right now begin to touch and change the lives of people. One. Two, three, take that breakthrough now. Take that breakthrough now. Bring them out. Shapatakata. Step into that dimension. Shake it, take it, take it, folks. Right at the back. I see the angels of the Lord bringing people into strange levels of breakthrough. Breakthrough. Shapatos kelataria. Mente kotos shotos e prekete kaya. No limitation in the name of the Lord Jesus. Breakthroughs, breakthroughs, breakthroughs by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breakthroughs. Shapos katala tosia e prekete ketos shakato setash. Never be the same. Never be the same. Lift your hands. I see a key hanging in the realm of the spirit. This is access. There are men right now. You are entering into dimensions of possibilities. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. This is a baptism. Keys. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a bunch of keys. Lord Jesus, for your glory, let the closed door open at the count of three. One, two, three. The name that is above all names. Access in the realm of the spirit. I command access right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Access to dimensions, access to levels, access to possibilities. Closed doors opening. The Lord showed me gates, and I decree those gates are opening, 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 opening in the name of Jesus. Those gates are opening. No power stands against you tonight. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I decree and declare the opening of strange gates. The opening of strange gates. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
we are going to do a quick walk please clear this way for me there are two angels that stand before me now my left and my right and the lord is asking me to pass round and come i will do that very quickly as i do that the lord is going to be breaking chains and taking away limitations in the name of jesus in the name of the lord jesus miracles 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 by the power of the holy ghost supernatural miracles take them out in the name of jesus miracles in the name of jesus miracles 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 by the anointing of the holy ghost miracles in the name of jesus supernatural miracles i release you now i release you now i release you now i release you now step into anointings step into graces in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of the living god there are chains i'm seeing on people's hands chains 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 break it now chains break it now chains break it now get ready this road i see chains 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 let it break now let it break now in the name of jesus let it break now now by the power of the holy ghost let it break now in the name of jesus supernatural miracles chains breaking in the name of jesus chains breaking in the name of jesus chains breaking in the name of jesus chains breaking chains breaking chains breaking chains breaking 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 shadow sotosh kalai rakataka let it break now the lord is asking me to stretch my hands here i stretch my hands right now every chain in the name of jesus this is a miracle service i command that the chains are broken 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 now broken now in the name of jesus broken you can't stand it that chain breaks now by the anointing of the holy ghost 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 i'm seeing the hand of the lord a wind of his spirit coming here Lord, what is happening here in the name of Jesus? Shebas kotos kaba, embreke to shedele keta, brata soto shopres keya, and brata ya. I'm seeing someone being taken out of a pit, out of a pit, out of a pit. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, out of a pit, I proclaim it. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Captivity ended. In the name of Jesus. Make a parato kotosh. Leke te kata prakato sotosh. Embre te kete karatosh. I'm seeing a ring in someone's finger. That demonic ring lives now. That demonic ring lives now. I see it by the spirit. That demonic ring lives now. I curse it by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. I see rings rings i curse it by the god of heaven i curse it in the name of jesus can i go out those outside i want you to get ready there is an anointing there is an anointing the lord is saying i should stretch my hands here this media place in the name of jesus those here i want you to lift your hands no matter where you are no matter where you are i want you to believe as soon as i pass here no matter what the issue is the hand of god is about to touch you thank you jesus right now let there be miracles now i pass this rose let there be miracles every strange spirit 
now be gone be gone be gone now in the name of jesus be gone now every strange spirit the lord jesus is in this place the lord jesus is in this place i stretch my hands now over 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 by the anointing of the holy ghost over now in the name of jesus now 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 in the name of jesus i stretch my hands i decree and declare i decree and declare stand up stand up in the name of jesus hold the baby now out of her in the jesus christ i command that devil madam look at me the lord is bringing you breakthrough now i'm seeing you crying and the lord is saying in your tears I'm coming to you. I know you are far, but I will come to you. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, the anointing is touching some people here. I'm still like chains broken. Chains broken. Let it break right now. In the name of Jesus, out of him. Yes, I'll speak in this young man. Be God now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, out now, out now, out now, out now, be gone. In the name of Jesus, be gone. In the name of Jesus, be gone. In the name of Jesus, look at me, my dear. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that your sins are over, over. In the name of Jesus, over now. In the name of Jesus no matter where you are no matter how far i want you to connect by faith look at me delay over your family ends now ends now in the name of jesus christ clear and declare by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost there is a spirit in this now in the name of jesus christ there's someone here. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing. There's someone here. God wants to now declare. Where is that person? I cause that spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me come to this tent overflow now. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands. Now, listen. The Lord is giving me an instruction. All of you are, I don't know what overflow is this, four now, three, overflow, three. at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus, something is going to happen right to the back, I'm seeing fire, one, two, three, now, 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 cause those spirits, I release breakthroughs now, in this overflow, in the name of Jesus, to the back, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, I'm seeing several of you inside pit. Out now. Come now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Hold on. Be careful. Please be careful. Ezekiel. Hallelujah. Is it hell? I told so bring me there. There is something God is touching you. The first four rows inside, inside the main building, first four rows. There's someone right now. The power of God is touching. First four rows inside. Lord, thank you. Let, let that person be touched now. Now, first four rows inside. God is bringing deliverance. Where is Ezekiel? Who is Ibo? You are the Ibo. Come. Where are you from? Huh? Okay. Anambra State. I want to pray for you. You believe that the Lord is going to. I see a lot of witchcraft in your family. And the Lord wants to set you free. Please, those of you outside, I don't, don't think because you are outside came out to show you that God is serious about your case. Don't think because you are standing, it means you are missing. No. Wherever you are, God can locate you. Are we together now? Salome. Salome. Who is Salome? 
Someone outside here, Salome. I'm standing close to you. Salome, come stand here. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I set your family free right now. In the name of Jesus, hold on. It's two guys, lift your hands. Two of you. An anointing is coming on two of you now. Lift your hands. These two gentlemen pray. Father, let them take of that anointing now. Drink of that grace. Drink of that fire. Step into a new dimension now. In the Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are Salome. In the name of Jesus. Zonkua. Who is from Zonkua here? Zonkua or something. I'm hearing the Lord is asking me. We have a lot to do. We are going to be very fast because we will soon pray for the sick now. Zonkua. Hallelujah. Please don't, don't make this place rowdy. Where are you from? Hold on. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Are you sisters? You are sisters. There is a spirit of death in your family. Come. What, why are you crying? It's well. Things are not going. Everything is scattered. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Two of you. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. One to go. That's the end of it. Lord, I set them free. Help them under the anointing. Please, there is somebody. The spirit of the Lord is ministering. I don't know what God is people outside. There is somebody around here. Want to prophesy to the person? Bring the person. That's the person. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm seeing a snake. God, my God, I'm seeing a not not this person. I'm seeing a snake, and the Lord is saying, even the lawful captives. That's what the Spirit of God is ministering to me. Please lift your hands, those of you here. Someone has got to be free. I'm Lord, that person right now. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God come upon that person right now. That person has to be free. Has to. Has to be free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Here it is. It's coming now. I see like light coming on someone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I set you free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I set you free. I'm ministering to people. Kauna. Is there a name like that? Kauna. Is it Kauna or Kauna? Please to me fast. Kauna. Who is that? I'm going to this overflow now. Kauna. Is there someone like that? Please, I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I receive the breakthrough you are bringing. Lift your voice and begin to speak it. I receive it. I receive it. Oga, come. What do you do? Huh? Where? Do you do business? Why? I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God empowering you in business. Do you have an elder sister? I've seen a lady. This is a lady looking just like you. I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. I took out time because of the massive deliverance that will happen here now. This very room. I'm walking here. Please hear me. There are mothers who what is going to happen to your children is going to come from your standing here now. So please release your faith. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. It ends. It's over now. In the name of Jesus, it's over by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'll walk it to the front and then I'll come down. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to start from the front there. Please just allow me to do my thing. Let's just do it very fast because we're going to pray for the sick. All these people lying shortly. I'm going to ask all of you to sit down. That anybody on a wheelchair or on a your two stand up right now. When I ask you to stand, you will stand up and take away whatever you came with. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hold on. Um, my God, I'm going to pass, and there is nothing special about me. It's just a communication, a channel. For the Lord to touch you. Come. Um, the man. 
spirit you are holding the lord is saying what are you looking for you are looking for a job huh and the lord is saying i should release a job to your life you believe that receive your job now in the name of jesus christ lift your hands father i pray spirit of the living god that you will blow upon this place as i pass this place let no yoke let no chain stand in the name of jesus them now in the name of jesus i bring you life by the power of the spirit the life of the life of god by the power of the spirit lives life right now in the name of jesus christ every darkness lit. every trace of that leaves 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 now leaves now 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 leaves now in the name of jesus christ every trace of darkness must go now in the name of jesus christ it must go now by the power of the holy ghost it must go now it must go now someone with pile is being healed now somewhere here someone with pile is being healed now someone with pile you're going to feel like fire going through your body we'll pray for the sick shortly be healed now fire is on your head be healed now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a yoke of delay here this road somebody somebody has to be free now in the name of jesus christ let that delay be broken by the power of the holy ghost let that delay be broken by the power of the holy ghost it's to a new level in the name of jesus the lord is renewing 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 i hear renewal in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm standing in this row because the angel of the lord is standing here and he wants to touch somebody right now in the name of jesus let it be over let it be over by the power of the holy ghost right now please help them my god my sister you are praying and i'm hearing your prayer come you are telling the lord to visit you i'm hearing your prayers in my ears and the lord is saying i should that he should give you a visitation who is this this is your husband yes sir where is he is he breathing i want to pray for you i don't like what i see right the lord is going to set them free because i've seen everything is tied down for this family nothing is worth yes sir is that true the lord is going to step in now edo state edo state I'm from edo state but the spirit of god is showing me in the name of jesus christ i'm pray for you Father, let there be a miracle right now. I end it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I end it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Now, see this thing the Lord shows me all the time. Please, everybody lift your hands inside or outside. Lift your hands now. I'm seeing a map. I don't know why God always shows me this. I'm seeing a map and the Spirit of the Lord through that map is taking me to Benway State. Now, everyone from Benway State, get ready. The anointing of God comes upon you now. Benway State, Benway State, the Lord is setting people free. Benway State, right now. Shekatos, Kalatos, inside and outside. Benway State, Benway State, inside, outside. Benway State, I see breakthroughs coming. Benway State, anointings, Mata Lakota, is a sign and a word that the Lord does where He locates people by states locates people by state i'm praying now if you're in benway state this unction is on you the work is on you inside my god i'm seeing people inside inside main auditorium breakthroughs 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 i'm hearing or to go or to go breakthroughs strange breakthroughs strange breakthroughs or to go shakato sekete e greto shalabariata embrakato shataya la kosata there is power 
in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, you're, I'm standing close to you and your name is Jacob. Lift your hands. It's over now. Forever. Over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the, there's somebody praying in this room. The power of God is coming on him now. Someone is praying a prayer. In the name of Jesus, you are stepping into a level. The spirit of wisdom is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is it Asabe? Asabe. I'm hearing the name Asabe. Quickly, I want to see how God will grant us grace this evening. There are so many sick people we have to pray for. Asabe. Is it Asabe? I'm hearing Asabe. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Look at my eyes. My eyes. Look at my eyes. Break every chain. Break every chain. Visit her family, oh God, once and for all. Let this be the season. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is from Enugu State? Enugu State. Hold on, hold on. Please don't fight yourselves. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Enugu. Enugu State. I'm going to pray for you. Choma. What? Choma. 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 I'm hearing a name, Choma. We're going to pray. Choma. You are inside. The Choma I'm talking about at the main auditorium. Choma, where are you? Give Jesus praise. I'm going to pray for you. Your name is Choma. What's your name? Choma. Your name is Choma. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is set family free right now because this is one of your prayer requests. I'm looking at your prayer request in a vision. What did you say the Lord should? I'm seeing your prayer request on top of you and I'm seeing that you're writing that God should bring breakthrough for your family. He will. He will. He will. We're talking about the spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. My brother, stand up. Look at me. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You love Jesus? I'm seeing your legs tied and I'm seeing snake of your legs down to your head. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is where this will start from. Be free now. Out! In the name of Jesus, help him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where did you come from, my dear? You are from Isuka. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. Let it be over now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing that map again. The Lord shows me. Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna now. The power of God is looking. Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna. Inside and outside. You are from Southern Kaduna. I'm seeing the map of Kaduna State. And the Lord is touching people from that state right now. There are several people inside. Ushers. Different people. The Lord is touching people. Southern Kaduna. Miracles. Miracles. I'm seeing like a, a, the cover. The cover of a well being opened. In the name of Jesus. Let it be. By the spirit of the living God. By the spirit of the living God. By the spirit of the living God. Let it end now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it end. Captivity must end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Captivity must end now. Captivity must end. Captivity must end. Shada sete karotash. Embrekete shala bradosa subriada. Shala brinde keto brasara balanaba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing Italy, Italy, a country, Italy, who has a relative in Italy. You come. 
There is power. Please quickly. Who do you have in Italy? My elder sister. Where is she? She's in Italy. Have you heard from her? No, it has been long. There's a, there's a problem. I'm seeing that lady is in a serious problem. She needs a miracle. Did we discuss this with you? Yes, yeah, she discussed it with my mom. I'm saying, did I discuss it with you? No, sir. She's in Italy. There is a serious problem. Huh? I'm seeing deportation. We have to pray for her. There is a serious issue. Not only deportation, but she's about to get into trouble. The Lord brings this thing so that he will set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what I was waiting for. In Jesus' name. There's somebody in front among the people lying down there. Um, I'm seeing the Lord touching their family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. Those of you coming for the first time, this is what happens in the miracle service. Is is these are not just miracles, they are called signs and wonders. They are operations of the spirit. You can see me call a state and everybody on that, that state is under the influence of the spirit it's not some magic these are operations these are superior dimensions of the operation of the spirit of the living god i want to pray for the lady in italy in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle right now a miracle right now something is leaving you even you who is standing this has caused delay in your life the lord is about to give you speed in the name of jesus christ supernatural speed the lord ends captivity in your life let it end now captivity is ending by the spirit and the power of god captivity is ending hallelujah there is somebody inside here i'm seeing a vision you're a you're a professional footballer come out something has tied you down it's time for you to move up who is that you're a footballer that's why you came here who is that break every chain break every chain Break every chain, break every chain. Lord Jesus, we honor you. Leave her. I want to pray for her. Something is happening. That's why I'm standing. at me Lord Jesus let this oppression over her family end in the name of Jesus Christ the same thing happening to her is happening to someone right at the back in the name of Jesus you play football oh this is your brother from where somebody cheated you we have to pray for you huh where do you want to travel to? I want to go to Europe. Huh? Europe. But you know that God has to take you to a clean way. Huh? If you want to smuggle your way and go to Europe, the devil will go and hijack your life and destroy you and they will throw you back. You understand? Because I see God lifting you in this career. The Lord is taking you very, very far. You believe that? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus. I bring him into this place in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be for you. You see, prophecy does not just reveal, prophecy creates. We make things that have no business happening to happen. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the road is clear for you now by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The the Holy Spirit. Seven months pregnant. There's a woman I need to pray for. Seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant. Come. You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. The Lord is telling me to take away CS. Hold my hands. Jesus. When are you due? Next month. September. You are due September. When? Do you know? You don't know. Anything from September 19th, get ready. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I hold you and I declare, I stop CS now by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
there is a problem with this baby as i'm seeing is that true yes I told you uh, this baby is not lying correctly and it's affecting you if we don't pray something will happen and you give birth to a dead baby we correct it now in the name of jesus christ i lay my hands upon you i bring the life of christ to you in the name of jesus you will give birth normally by the spirit in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we are going to pray for the sick now but uh, who is this you're pregnant how many months seven months yes, sir. have you gone to the hospital where's your husband he's at home sir husbands husbands they send their wives and stay back at home hallelujah let's pray put your hand on your stomach God is going to give you a dream about the name of this child. Receive grace to name the child exactly what you see. Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We'll soon pray for the sick, but I want to do something. Look at me. This lady. Out of her now. I release the life of Jesus Christ and I curse the works of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing fire it's like it's looking for someone in this room this is something that has to do with someone's family in the name of Jesus Christ just this room because I'm seeing the Lord is revealing to me in the name of Jesus thank you father the power of God will come upon whoever that person is and that will end it right now end it right now family God is touching the families in the name of Jesus it is not by power it's not by might it's by the Spirit of God it's not by power in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me someone's prayer request. Prayer point number one. Let my sister have a child. Who is that? Prayer point number one. You are wearing red. Break every chain. Break every chain. I hope you are not telling lies. What was your first prayer request? Let my sister and my brother have a baby. Where are they? They are in their various places. Your sister, how long has she been married? Going to three. Yes. Did she have a child before? No, but my brother has. Did she take in before? No. This person is wearing red. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing somebody wearing red. This is the person in the vision the Lord is showing me. Who is that? This is the person I saw, but I will pray with you. Listen, I want you to believe that no barren person there is no need to go back without a child it's, it's, there is not necessary hold on I'm not just praying for barren people at random but just let them come since they're here we'll pray for people we're about to pray for people now we'll take our time to minister the anointing is there you see that even the vigils sometimes you close your eyes and it's already morning praise the Lord my friend you love Jesus Kai Please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. I'm seeing you standing and I want to pray. I know I always pray, but this guy smokes. Uh, um, what they call that thing. But I know people smoke all kinds of things. But this guy, your own is acute. You are here. But truthfully speaking, you cannot help. You can take as much of that thing till it destroys you. I'm even seeing... That you have some i don't know whether it's at home please who is that don't be embarrassed the lord wants to set you free if you sit down that's your that's that's for you. whether you are inside outside make your way don't be ashamed just come out here i want to pray for you now my dear i want you to call where are they who, who are you standing in for Ladi Abuti. Huh? Ladi Abuti. you no, you're the my sister. your sister okay i want to pray the person i'm talking about please summon the courage to stand here i want to pray for you 
I want you to call her after this meeting and tell her to get ready. God is going to give her a baby boy. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you because your power is available to set the captives free. I decree and declare. Let it be right now. Establish it in Jesus' name. It's over now. You are the one who came. Come. We have to pray. Your brother, you said they are barren. I'm not seeing your brother barren. He, ha he has two children. How, how many two children? Hold one. on, let me talk to you. How many children? The first one was a miscarriage. Miscarriage? How many children are there now? The second one died like two weeks after. I'm seeing two children that is not a miscarriage. They were born, but they died. Two, two children. Now it's, there's no child at all. The one they had died like weeks or so. How many weeks? Two weeks, two weeks after birth. One and one day. And he just died. We have to pray. You understand? You, you're standing in for them and you believe God will help them. We have to pray. As you're praying for them, it will never be part of your life. You have no business with that thing. Somebody needs to come out. This wee wee thing. Who is the person? Let's celebrate him. Don't, don't feel bad. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's your friend. He's your brother. He smokes this thing. He smokes... Uh, Huh? Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I have to pray for him. My friend, how are you? Can you hear me? I uh, can hear you. I have to pray for him. You see, the same thing the anointing, when you smoke this thing and when you are under the influence of the anointing, it's exactly what happens when you smoke these leaves you see. Those leaves. There is a lady come and join him i'm seeing a lady don't be embarrassed please jesus is setting you free there is a lady you can't help yourself this is not the issue of being good or bad please run boldly and come if you waste our time you just sit where you are one lady there is a lady this thing has destroyed it's not like you like it but you can't help it it comes upon you like an anointing and you have to come my dear let's pray we have to pray for the sick now in the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. I terminate the yoke of barrenness right now. Sister and brother, in the name of Jesus, they take in now. You're here for the same reason? You're here for the same reason? In the name of Jesus. You're standing for yourself? Your sister. If I ask for people who have who want children, except you are standing for somebody, if you are standing for yourself, make sure you, are, you have a husband or a wife. Praise God. We, we are Bible believers, but we are not stupid people. Make sure you are married officially. Because I know that there are people who just live together. Um, you, don't, you don't love God and then we have to stay. Of course, God is merciful. The Spirit of God is not letting me rest over the lady that we are going to pray for. In the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. We are a family. Nobody looks down and embarrasses. There's no condemnation here whatsoever. We are here to help. We are here to show you the mercies of God. Hold my hands, my dear. This is a lady. Ah, no, this is not how. The person I'm talking about is here in this venue. You are here. You are not asleep. You are awake. You are hearing what I'm saying. This lady is... You understand? Barrenness. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch them. In the name of Jesus, touch them. Hold on. Don't worry. Uh, we are going to pray for the sick. Who is this? Why are you here, madam? Please just be patient. Why is she here? If it's not the case I mentioned, um, can I pray for you, my friend? You are the one who brought him. Where is he from? He's, he's from, staring he's at from me. Benway State, sir. Eh? He's from Benway State. He's from Benway State. See how the guy yes, is staring sir. at me? If he has his way, he can eat and swallow me as if it's easy. Between you and me, it's a long distance. It's not what you are seeing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long distance stretch your hands and let's pray for this guy he's a nice person this this is what we we and co can do let's pray let's pray my friend don't worry we are praying for you eh? it's not just you stretch your hands saints of god you are anointed let's pray for him lord help this gentleman please i still insist this lady if god grants you grace in the name of jesus christ i pray for you we love you 
and in the name of Jesus we pray for you sincerely by the compassion of the Christ we pray for you that the power of this this substance abuse is broken in your life in the name of Jesus who is Rebecca 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 I have to talk to that person quickly and then we'll pray for the sick you can't imagine how the time is gone we're still going to anoint it's already morning Rebecca is there anyone huh? sister. your sister I'll pray for you but what's your name what's your name Rebecca my dear come who is this Rebecca the lady that smokes is in this thing has depressed this lady and changed her that's why I want to pray for you what's your name okay. Rukaya. Rukaya, come. I love you, eh? Come, you're a darling. We're not, we're not here to make you feel bad at all. Listen, let me tell you something. Huh? One of the keys to walking in the anointing is love. You don't love people, you will never walk in authentic power. When God reveals to you things about people's lives, it's not because you are better than them. Are we together now? The goal of this revelation is to extend the hand of God's love. This is a wonderful lady you can see very lovely beautiful lady that the devil wants to destroy so every time words come like this or when we pray for people this is a family of faith where everybody is a product of God's mercy and grace are we together darling I, I know that you may not like some of them it may not even be bad friends they just got into all of these things and let me tell you maturity does not deliver people from spirits you can be growing older and still remain you believe the Lord Jesus will help you? Hmm? Thank you. You've tried to stop this thing, Abby? Yes. And you'll try and it won't work? Yes. Problems keep coming up that I just can't stop. What do you take? I smoke, I take drugs, I drink. You drink? Yes. Please stretch your hands over this lady. Pray as if you are praying for your own daughter. Pray as if you are praying for your own child. Lord, have mercy on this dear lady. We refuse to leave her to the devil. We love her. Pray, some of you are looking at me. Pray with all your heart. Lord, help this lady. Usually people take these things as a result of depression. All kinds of challenges. Their lack of understanding the word of God. Their lack of encounter with the word of God. Is what produces this kind of devilish effect. Hallelujah. Look at me, my dear. You are my friend, eh? Don't cry. You are my friend from today. God will help you, eh? Say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, eh? Pastor Alpha, please, eh? You will follow up this lady. Just help her to stand strong. Some of these ladies, it's just a combination of loneliness and then they meet all kinds of bad people by the way when when it's time to do the final prayer we're going to pray against these bad people around our community whose lives is to frustrate and destroy people there are many ladies here you want to love god and, and live for him but there are all these boys around that make it look like serving god is a waste of time and they keep distracting you and before you know it in the name of love in the name of relationship and, and in the name of wanting to marry you they derail you from the path of god anybody who must make you leave god to marry you is not an irresponsible person that prayer has already been answered the answer is no leave the person quickly don't say i'm waiting on god god is not a fool are we together so go and meet pastor alpha he will help you eh? he will collect your details and your rebecca all of you three of you I cannot even remember why I asked you to come out, but let me pray for you. You are standing in for your sister. You love Jesus. Friends, eh? 
we love Jesus, but be careful so that um, you know your company matters as much as your work with God. The Lord will help you. Huh? In Jesus' name, over now in your life. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is setting her free. I'm seeing something leaving her. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let her be free from it. That devil of darkness lets you go. Rebecca, the Lord is bringing you liberty in the name of Jesus. It's over now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, this favor is lifted from your life forever. In Jesus' name. Two of you are Rebecca. Your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Now, what's that a song? Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana. Gashina, Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana. Gashina. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray on this now. You can imagine it's to five. Stretch your hands here and let's pray. God is a miracle worker. The testimonies here is a revelation that God gave us and an instruction. And my God, what a joy to life. Stretch your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, Jabratos Calabrende Geva Sarabakuria Takatash. Jabratos also British Karata. Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus. Mandala Kapratos Kata British Calabrania Kata. Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Le Kratoske, are you praying? Father, we agree. We agree for miracles. We agree for we agree for wonders. Man tekalas kotambria tato sisia takata loka Rusia. Bredo gosho bredis kalabrata kata faradash. Le kata brando susi briata. E kata. Jabrata she pregede bosh. Pray. We receive miracles. We receive signs. We receive wonders. In the name of Jesus, Lord, release miracles to families, release signs, wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ, let impossible situations come under the influence of your spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we decree and declare, agree with me. Right now, let every impossible situation turn into a miracle right now. Lord, this is a representation of the cries and the desires of your people scattered around this place and many across the nations of the world lord we agree that you are a miracle worker and we decree and declare that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. Visit the barren, heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, wipe the tears of your people by the power of your word. Let there be miracles. We release miracles, 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 miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you we thank you we call it done in the name of jesus christ we call it done in the name of jesus christ we call it done in the name of jesus christ hallelujah 
now we're getting to the last phase we're going to pray on this hallelujah let me tell you something about this oil you're seeing is is truly an oil of wonder i spent uh, the night praying no oil in itself is anointed please be careful don't hurt her don't ah uh, hold on <laughs> they are wondering what to do with her my dear be comfortable okay this your case is a very straightforward demonic case your bones are fine everything is fine you've taken this just relax um if she doesn't feel the strength to stand don't force her but you can just guide her who brought her how did she come you carried her can you carry her are you that strong this is night vigilo okay take her gradually you try to walk to where well, while they are carrying you please when you keep her exercise there's no reason out oh there there's no reason why this lady should go back crippled honestly speaking it's not that her bones are broken just all these demonic things so i was talking about this oil um there is a ritual when people begin to idolize things oil water handkerchiefs aprons um, um, stickers banners they lose the life in it religion is a very terrible thing it's important you do things according to the word of god and as directed by the holy spirit last week was an anointing service for favor and um, we're going to name this one now and then we'll pour it and then we'll have um, I will anoint these guys and then we'll do it very quickly whilst we are doing that please the moment you come touch the anointing oil on your head please and please we'll make it very fast you can see that it's already five o'clock it's almost as if um, it was not a vigil <laughs> praise God father we give you all the praise I lift up this jar of oil and in the name of Jesus Christ we call it an oil of breakthrough say amen we decree and declare let this oil be a symbol of supernatural breakthrough the supernatural oil that came from my hands that was added to this i pray that the mystery of breakthrough that this represents as it comes upon you let there be strange signs and wonders in the name of jesus let this provoke angelic visitations in the name of jesus christ and let this cause the holy spirit to move in your life in a mighty way the bible says the spirit of the lord is upon me and the reason why he's upon me is because i was anointed in the name of jesus may the anointing attract dimensions of the operations of the spirit in the name of jesus we dedicate this i command this oil to lose its earthly significance and to take on the significance of a mystery in the realm of the spirit representing breakthrough at the same time let this be an oil of judgment in the name of jesus christ let this be an oil of judgment by the power of the holy spirit god's ability god's ability is working in me hallelujah we have to say father in the name of jesus i thank you i'm anointing you so that you will stand and as i lay my hands i pray that this grace of breakthrough and favor will start from you first i want you to believe it this is an oil that will bring supernatural breakthrough in your own life supernatural grace supernatural grace supernatural grace anointing of the holy ghost fresh dimensions in the name of Jesus that grace that anointing that grace that anointing that grace that anointing in the name of Jesus Christ okay so you can give it to them father we decree and declare this is an oil of supernatural breakthrough I can always add please quickly station yourselves we are going to be praying all through as soon as as soon as the oil touches you please i want you to begin to pray worship team you give us uh, okay just play the instrument we'll just begin to pray in the spirit everyone praying in the spirit as the oil comes upon you begin to declare speak forth release your faith lord we decree and declare right now 
let miracles begin let signs and wonders and breakthroughs begin in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus you can stand here okay thank you jesus go ahead as soon as you touch the oil begin to prophesy in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the word of the lord becomes my testimony the oil is anointed Monday, brother, scalabre de chevre de secato, brother, catapaladaba. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Make sure everyone is anointed. Make sure everyone is anointed. Young, old. Zambra di casso di briada baladabos. Madi brasa ziziana cruciata cross calabar. Please keep standing, everybody. It's morning already. I want to make an altar call quickly. Our time is up. It's just two minutes to six. Please keep standing. No moving around inside, outside. There are people here. You have seen the power of God. You have seen the grace of God. And you're saying, Apostle, if you will pray for me, I'm ready to hand my life over to God like the dear lady who came out um, and many other people. I know that it is morning, but it should not rob you. The greatest miracle, literally and truthfully, is an encounter with the lord jesus christ wherever you are you are inside you are outside any of the overflows online you are following and you are saying man of god i want you to pray with me and at the same time there are people you have given your heart to the lord but things happen around your life your life went haywire and you need you're saying I, I cannot go back the way i came i want to have this restoration this encounter i'm rededicating my life to jesus wherever you are please we have just two minutes for you inside outside please clear the way for them make sure you don't discourage them let's appreciate them as they come wherever you are god bless you make your way to the front are you appreciating them they are coming please run run quickly inside outside if you're coming i want you to run god bless you god bless you clap hands for them they are coming god bless you koinonia is this the best you can do keep coming don't let anyone stop you if you are joining them please come quickly clear the way for them overflow one two three and then the fourth one those online connect with us i'm about to lead them a very special prayer very special prayer thank you so much ladies and gentlemen i want you to lift your right hand and pray this after me sincerely from your heart say after me lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight come join them quickly tonight you're coming from outside quickly 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 join them join them let's be very fast let's be very fast quickly say after me all of you standing here say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i ask you to cleanse me forgive my sins i believe you, you were raised from the dead and now you are alive i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare by the authority of scripture that i'm a child of god i decree and declare that the grace to live a victorious life is given to me right now i go forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted jesus we present to you the ones you died for and we decree and declare that this will begin the beginning of a great journey in their lives i, I declare that your sins are forgiven I command that the power of sin, the power of flesh, the power of Satan is broken over your life in the name of Jesus. You go from glory to glory in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Now very quickly, I want you, there's a gentleman waving his hands. I want you to follow him quickly. They welcome you more warmly on our behalf and communicate a few details to you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Father, give me a testimony tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Give me a testimony. My faith insists that I will not go back the same way I came. Lift your voice and pray. I place a demand, O oh God. I place a demand, O oh God. I place a demand. I'm not in doubt that you are able. For you are God alone, 
From before time began, you are on your cross. You are God alone. You are God alone. From before time began, you are on your throne. You are God alone. You are God alone. You are God alone. From before time began, you are on your throne. Sing it one more time until you are God alone. You are God alone. You are God alone. From before time began, you are God alone. You are God alone. You are God alone. Fill me up till I overflow. I wanna run. I wanna run over. Fill me up. Hey, till I overflow. I wanna run. Sing with faith in your heart. I wanna run over. Fill me up till I overflow. I Oh, my God. 
It is unto you that we are gathered tonight for no man can do these things except God be with him Lord there are people here tonight trusting you for all kinds of things I pray oh God that you would render heavens in your power visit us in a very dramatic way change lives deliver the oppressed lord let it be a time worth spent in your presence i pray in the name of jesus christ that tonight you will be glorified in the name of jesus christ demonstrate your power your sovereignty your love and your kindness in our midst in the name of jesus christ amen prophesy to someone tell him your life is about to change say it like you believe it your life is about to change god bless you please be seated hallelujah hallelujah i'm happy seeing everyone um we have a lot to do tonight thank you jesus and so we're going to trust god for speed hallelujah those outside uh, overflow one two three can you shout hallelujah praise the lord i'll teach for a few minutes and then we will pray hallelujah i want to share with us something tonight that i believe is very powerful oh, hallelujah praise the lord romans chapter 15 i welcome everyone this is our miracle service for the month of april and the lord will do us good romans chapter 15 and verse 4 I want to share a powerful principle seems to be a bit windy outside we apologize for those outside romans 15 and verse 4 are we there it says for whatsoever things were written aforetime it says were written for our learning that we through the patience and the comfort of scripture we might have hope whatever no just 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 verse for whatever has been written in other words every time you read the bible every story every epistle every letter in it is a revelation that is applicable the bible says that they are written for our learning meaning we can derive keys from these principles and we can trust god that by the application of the same we will experience triumph and tonight we are going to explore one of them in the name of jesus christ i prayed with all my heart for this meeting and i trusted the lord and i still do that he truly will visit us i think the worship team captured it in a most profound way all the issues that we may need the hand of god to come upon healing deliverance etc let's look at joshua chapter 6 the book of joshua chapter 6 there are a few lessons we can learn the bible already records that everything that is written in the bible is for our learning that through the comfort of scripture we might find hope joshua chapter 6 it's a very interesting story um the lord opened my eyes to a very deep mystery here 
and I want to share part of it with us. Verse 1. Okay, it's projected. Now Jericho was straightly shut up. Why? Because the children, because of the children of Israel. And it says, none went out and none came in. Imagine, ladies and gentlemen, a situation where a city is shut. Nothing is allowed to go out through it. Nothing is allowed to come out. It's a description of the lives of many people. The Bible says this city is shut in a way that nothing can go out. And it means it cannot receive anything. It cannot give and it cannot receive. Are we together now? And then the Bible says, verse 2, And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thy hand Jericho and its king and the mighty men of Velum. This is God speaking, verse 3. And ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shall thou do six days. Verse 4. And seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day he shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow the trumpets. Verse 6, and Joshua the son of Nun called the priests, notice now, and he said unto them, take up the ark of the covenant and let seven priests bear trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord. Now look up, we're going to continue. But the Bible is describing something very interesting here. Do you know that the surprising thing about this scripture is that the purpose for fighting that land was not to occupy Jericho. The Bible never said they fought and they said, let's enter. So what was it about Jericho that they needed to destroy it to continue their journey? I thought that they would fight. God said, I've given you the land. How can you wait seven days, fight, defeat a city and then keep moving? That meant Jericho was not just a city. Jericho represented something that was a deep mystery. The Bible says nothing could go into it and nothing could come out. Meaning, if you found yourself in that city, there was no possibility of connection with any environment outside. Nothing could go out. Nothing could come in. Are we together? A city so fortified, the Bible says five chariots could hang on the fence of that city. And then, Joshua, the son of Nun, notice the strategy. In order to defeat this city, he said, I know you have men of war. But now I need the priests, not men of war. Gather the priests and then introduce the Ark of the Covenant. And then surround, keep going around that challenge with the Ark. Notice this. Don't talk. Don't do anything. Just carry the Ark and keep surrounding that city that is so fortified. There is no human way of crumbling that city. But he introduced the ark listen carefully and he said to carry that ark and for six days all i want you to do is to gather the priests the ones who mediate between god and man carry the ark a symbol of the strength and the presence of god because he was trying to show joshua that what you see is not all there is if you fight physically there is a force that makes Jericho Jericho and that even if you pass Jericho in peace Jericho will not leave you in peace are you getting what I'm saying now it was not the issue of occupying is that something needed to be broken in Jericho for their journey to be successful a city you can't see the king you can't see the citizens, but the city is fortified. Nothing can go out. Nothing can come in. When the Lord... Look, let me tell you something about God. The tools that he uses tells you what challenge he's fighting. When he went to Egypt, he didn't say, Moses, let me show you how to use the sphere and a gun and whatever. He said, no, Egypt is not just Egypt because they have men of war. There are spirits. And so take this rod. Now he's telling 
he's telling joshua joshua this challenge you see don't mind the physical size of the challenge there are entities that are standing there to make sure that no form of breakthrough comes no deliverance comes a city that stands as an altar within a territory and he says gather the priests i thought you would confront the king he said leave the king alone carry my presence carry the ark start going around and compass that was the language just keep going around that city with my presence don't utter a word let my presence keep going around six days this is what you will do and the bible says that they continue that way verse 11 so the ark of the lord compassed the city going about it once and they came into the camp and lodged in the camp verse 15 and it came to pass on the seventh day listen carefully that he rose up early about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner seven days only that on that day they compassed the city seven times and it came to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew the trumpet joshua said unto the people shout notice from day one to day seven no one was allowed to talk the only thing that was speaking was the ark it was a communication of spirits first there will be a participation but the physical only comes on the seventh day you start dealing with things physical no 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 let the ark speak what you cannot speak when the victory has been established by the ark your shout only manifested what sort of war do you fight with ark not swords carry the ark go round that challenge go round jericho what kind of mason what kind of engineer would deconstruct the blocks they were not held by cement and mortar they were held by covenants and ordinances he said only the ark can deal with this listen let me tell you this jericho is a representation of the kinds of situations of many people the the fortification is such that your shouting and trying to do all you know to do may not provide that solution are we together but the system here the first thing is look for the priest if you cannot find a priest then there cannot be victory you can find men of war but this one requires priesthood it is only priesthood that has the capacity to nullify the mystery that built jericho are we together the bible says here we have been made unto our god kings and priests there is an office of the priesthood of a believer and only that office is able to address certain intricate fortifications of darkness they would have shouted they would have tried fighting and they would have died i believe if they tried to fight jericho the men of jericho would not use swords the mystery that built jericho will fight them and yet on this occasion the Lord tells Joshua, your sword is useful, but now, not for now. Your voice is useful, but not for now. Go around Jericho. Those walls you see were not just physical walls. Those walls, the physical walls you see were a representation of something. He said, go around it. Tonight the Lord has brought his presence. And let me tell you what has been happening in this service is like taking the presence of God and going around situations you may not understand you were not designed to understand what the ark speaks it's a spirit communication there is a place where you shout with your intelligence but this warfare leave it for the ark and the covenant are we together there are languages over our lives and puzzles and mysteries that only the presence of god has a solution over The Bible says, so the people shouted, verse 20, when the priests blew the trumpet, and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, the Bible says the people shouted with a great shout, 
and the wall fell down flat meaning it was built in a way and manner that it was not just by hands alone the walls that five chariots could stay sank something about the going around with the ark was doing something to the controlling powers that held that situation in other words the building was never the issue you will be deceived to think because the building is large it is a function of the engineering and here god is revealing and said joshua don't waste your time just like a situation that has been for 15 years 30 years and you may think because it has stayed so long it's just that those who have been fighting it have been fighting it physically let me tell you when the act goes round, it doesn't take long you will see a situation that you thought was so long crumble you will see joblessness all of a sudden crumble the assignment tonight is to find a priest take the ark blow the trumpet and let there be a shout and you will watch jericho notice the bible says when jericho fell down flat the bible says the people entered and killed everything inside and they carried the treasures so that city was fortified and god challenged them to destroy that but the city was holding a treasure that was needed for the next level of their lives there was wealth and blessing and the city would not allow anybody enter in or go out are you hearing what i'm saying and god said don't act like you would not need what is in jericho stay and destroy pay the price crumble the city pack the treasures and you will need it on your journey couldn't they have followed another route and passed the people since the people did not want to open and close it's a sign of peace i can just leave them but you leave them you will need the treasure that is in jericho because you see satan never has anything that is own is his own everything he has he stole it are we together carry the ark it was a powerful revelation and i began to think about how many people try to fight battles physically how many people waste their time to try to manage things no the key is to tap into the mystery of priesthood a system that can talk to spirits a system that can challenge controlling powers the bible says for the weapons it says we wrestle not against flesh and blood we wrestle not against the annoying neighbor we wrestle not against the landlord we wrestle not against the joblessness situation in nigeria that every jericho has a force behind it you fight jericho physically you waste your time when you allow the ark fight before you come there the city has given you way you never enter a city until the ark defeats the city when you enter a city and try to fight the city will tear you into pieces because every city has gates spiritual fortifications there is the jericho of wealth and prosperity nothing comes in nothing goes out yet your treasure is there your life remains at a standstill because a fortification has been built so you don't challenge it spiritually so you go and start a business physical nothing works you leave the business and get a job physical nothing works after that you go and meet your uncle physical nothing works will you allow the ark to talk to the controlling powers are you getting what i'm saying now you want a job you carry your certificate and tell an uncle somewhere uncle sir i i want you to give me a job and he says bring your cv and you keep rejoicing for years that your cv is with someone and you keep it because until spirits are confronted there is no breakthrough believe what i tell you those who understand this keep triumphing cheaply by invoking the mystery of priesthood now the symbol of defeat for any people is the absence of a priesthood and the absence of an ark even if you have a sword if there is no priesthood and there is no ark there is no victory listen carefully 
the most important components to win the warfare of life is not the swords it's not the spheres it's not the business ideas it is the presence of a living priesthood and the presence of an ark hmm. not everybody can carry the ark everybody can benefit from the presence of the ark but not everybody can carry the ark this is a mystery everybody is allowed to partake of the implications of the presence of the ark but not everybody can carry the ark if there is no priesthood then there is no ark then there is no victory even though there is an army even though there is a sword please hear me carefully some may trust in horses some may trust in chariots some may trust in certificates some may trust in human connections some may trust in business acumen some may trust in all kinds of things but i show you how we win in life it is the token of the priesthood the ark the trumpet it is not just physical things when the gates and the doors are fallen then your sword becomes useful are you seeing that you only submit the cv when the controlling power that stands from your village and has vowed that nobody who is through this bloodline will excel is a waste of time it is vain to wake up in the morning listen carefully and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrows those you see triumphing in life are men and women who have understood the mystery of the priesthood they always allow the priesthood and the ark to precede them they will fight but they know when to fight look at me i came tonight to deliver us from a life of hustling a life of doing physical things you would think i don't know what i'm saying many people will not listen you will get up please help those on that you will get up carry certificates around life is spiritual there is no jericho that does not have spirit until the ark goes before you and until the priest carries the ark there is no possibility of victory treasures in jericho but the door is closed your treasure you can't go in you can't come out are we together do you know there was a woman there who should be saved i'm not sure rahab you can see that rahab was part of god the army of god but listen the bible says that she was stuck there her too could not go out and come in for as long as she was in there she was called rahab the prostitute until she came out of that dungeon did she become one of the 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 genealogy the lineage of jesus for as long as some of our family members and there are situations that are left it's not only treasures that were carried there some persons were also rescued everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me we prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored listen let me tell you this the more i understand the systems of the kingdom the more i see honestly that there is no hope of deliverance for many people until they find out these mysteries those who win in life are not the smartest those who win in life are not the most educated some of them by mercy they stumbled into these mysteries and you watch gates open and you are there with your knowledge wondering how unfair life can be jericho 45 nobody entered from your village your father tried fighting physically they destroyed him your mother tried doing business they destroyed her 
your siblings went to school got masters got phd the door said i don't open i don't receive and i don't give the lord said joshua stop wasting your time it's not about nigeria it's not about recession find a priest quickly find a priest one who is an act bearer don't just try to do it on your own i know you can fight but this is priesthood listen carefully it is the foolishness that has destroyed many proud people in our generation the bible says by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt it's not human worship it is the mystery of priesthood the priest the ark the trumpet equal to the falling of jericho when jericho falls you can fight with whatever you have when jericho falls your pure water can make you a millionaire because jericho has fallen when jericho falls one destiny helper is enough you don't need party when jericho falls one job can bless you but until jericho falls anything done outside it is a waste of time i never fight physically physical battles are the last it is foolish to begin your journey to victory fighting physically look at jesus on his way to the cross he spent time in gethsemane because he knew it was not about wood and nails it was about spirits satan came to him in matthew chapter 3 matthew chapter 4 satan left him came back to him in peter he defeated him came back in judas he left him something was playing out and jesus knew that he needed to settle certain things when he went to that cross satan did not know that certain dimensions of priesthood the order the protocol of priesthood had been kept let me tell you fear any man that understands priesthood even if he's a herbalist are you getting what i'm saying the people in the world know this and they triumph from one level of victory there are business people in this nation that will never do anything until they make sure there is an ordinance of priesthood that goes ahead of them life is too fierce to be physical no sir are we together you try getting a baby physically it doesn't work you go to the hospital doctors do their best it doesn't work you try and try let me tell you when you try a thing once twice three times it doesn't work just stop stop wasting your time stop immediately the bible did not tell us that one person was killed when jericho fell the people the same spirit that fell the land rendered the people helpless even the weakest of the members of the army killed somebody it was never about the sword it was about victory when the ark wins you win the only possibility for your failure is that the priesthood is not there show me the priesthood that has risen to speak over the ordinances our forefathers as uneducated as they were they understood the mystery of priesthood till today many of them we laugh at them yet they keep getting results everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored Listen, unto me the bible says everything written in scripture was for our learning that story was not just written there god intended that someone with the eyes of the spirit can see and teach a people that you don't win battles with swords swords only help you possess your possession swords only help you manifest victory they don't create victory what creates victory brothers and sisters is the priesthood and the ark what manifests victory is your sword it is true that the horse is prepared for battle 
but the horse does not fight until the priesthood goes the nation of israel will be going for war and they will carry swords and then they will carry priests with a trumpet look how silly it is to be going to fight they can wipe a whole nation yet there are some people with some irritating regalia and the painful parties they are never behind they are in front the priesthood they are afraid but they know what they carry they depend on the ark left for me you will kill me and the enemies are laughing and say you have come to fight us like this priesthood our generation is a very arrogant generation that's why we may never get results many young people just i'm not saying anything is wrong with intellectualism we have so we have demeaned ourselves from the reality of the realm of the spirit do you know you look at certain people and you are even annoyed because in all honesty you see the efforts i'm correcting you now you have been doing it wrongly you have been fighting a neighbor even if the neighbor leaves provided jericho is there it doesn't matter who comes back the battle is the same listen if jericho is still there leave zaria and travel to lagos leave zaria and go to us right from the 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 airport there trouble will meet you but crumble jericho and remain in your village and watch the booty of jericho look for you and come it is not by strength it is by strategy i show you a strategy tonight to command strange signs and wonders is the mystery of the priesthood do you know do you know why saul lost his throne are we bible students do you know why saul lost his throne who can tell me why he lost his throne saul did not lose his throne necessarily just because he offended god saul lost his throne because he, of, he offended a pattern an order of operation he waited there was a man occupying the priest prophet office who was supposed to be the one to offer incense and they waited for him and the king said look you are wasting our time the people are destroying me say ah, is he not the same god we all serve the same god and he offered the sacrifice and when samuel came he said no you have done foolishly if you allowed me to come god would have established your throne forever but now that you have done this the throne is taken away from you just for the sin of violating priesthood a man lost his throne without knife no knife nobody fought him but he lost his throne david tried to do his best to still respect him he was sitting in a physical throne yet he had gotten up in the realm of the spirit show me the job in the realm of the spirit otherwise stop wasting your time with cvs around it will not work are you getting what i'm saying you just get up physically and go and harass your unbelieving loved ones I've come to you repent you must repent you are fighting physically and all of a sudden you receive casualties but when you invoke priesthood someone goes to bed in the night and sees a stranger coming and says it's time for your salvation and the person is already convicted here you come and you say look I want to talk to you about he helps you and say Jesus I've been waiting because Jericho has fallen are we together you meet your destiny helper jericho covers his eyes he is the one but he cannot see you and you pass but when jericho falls like the prodigal son as prodigal as that son was while the father saw him the father didn't even say so what have you been doing i hear you have been with pigs he held him he said leave the matter of the past now let me put a ring come be restored for by the arm of flesh koinonia will no man prevail you will never get a job just by physical pressing believe me you will never prosper just by doing all of these things there are many men of god some of you are here wonderful men of god they are trying to win the battle and rise in ministry physically please invite me here's my complimentary card i'm a sound man of god by god's grace i'm balanced i'm this and that and that you are 
and jericho is looking at you and say it doesn't happen that way jesus knew this imagine jesus going around and saying people come and listen to me for 30 years no one was interested in listening to him but when he engaged the mystery of the priesthood he came out of the waters a voice spoke hear ye him publicity or no publicity everywhere jesus went men followed him are we are we together the bible says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness let me tell you many of you your victory is already established in the realm of the spirit but the system for translating it we are there wasting time doing a lot of things many of our loved ones some of you are here you thought that okay by the time you get a job it will be all right you got a job you found out that the salary was not enough you prayed for promotion as promotion came to you all of a sudden jericho says that's not how we win i'm still here standing but tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ let me tell you you will watch jericho just like babylon fall before you it's true. listen when you hear people testifying ah huh, try to understand what made the miracle work because most of what they were doing they had done it before master we have toiled all night jesus said no it's not nets that catches fish Abba, you've been with me you don't understand how this thing works master we have toiled all night he said but i know there is a relationship between you and that fish and jesus said cast your net the net will be casted but not before he speaks it is after he speaks the cv will be submitted but not before the priesthood it is after are we together you will try to have the child but when you continue the way you are doing you will keep miscarrying forever it's not an insult let me tell you this without the presence of god there is no human intelligence that has the fortification to destroy an altar whose foundation is spiritual let me repeat myself without the presence of god spiritual intelligence there is no human manipulation that sustains enough power to crumble an altar whose origin is from the realm of the spirit what is fighting many of us is not physical brothers and sisters i know you are born again i know you love jesus christ but the mystery of covenants are territorial jesus has come to your heart but he must come to your life just because you received him into your heart doesn't automatically mean you are free potentially you have come into a kingdom with infinite possibilities but ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened this is paul teaching the church in ephesus he says alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them having the the tragedy is not that god lied but that their understanding is darkened and so by reason of the darkened understanding they have been alienated from the experience of that life it's not enough to say jesus died it's not enough to say i'm born again if that were it brothers and sisters many of our loved ones who have been born again for decades should not be where they were i watch people under the influence of manipulations that are not of an earthly, an earthly origin and i watch the folly of men how we do our best i was once like that but no more i'm born again i've repented i've seen the foolishness of fighting things physically it has to be from the realm of the spirit first not from the realm of the spirit whether first or not the order is first from the realm of the spirit when you plant a seed it doesn't start growing outside until the growth happens there that is the part you cannot explain when it starts coming out you can now water it but the growth there doesn't need your watering listen there are powers that until the mystery of the priesthood and the ark fights 
some of us will never experience progress in our lives we wake up in the morning we sleep late in the night we are sincere but nothing is working are we together yes every time a blessing comes trouble must ferment itself around a family and drain everything the moment you are rising spiritually how many pastors and churches and wonderful people are like that when you are rising satan doesn't fight you you will think you are victorious the programming he knows how cheap the programming will bring you down so he can as well allow you to rise and you find out for a season everything is working well because it's like a string you will reach a limit it pulls you back are we together oh i want to marry you no problem you will even be happy three days later everything scatters i'm going to give you a job and you find out that satan does not need to fight you he already fought you with the presence of jericho and god said guys the goal is not to stay in jericho but you can't let jericho stand and reach where you are going don't pity it bring it down there is a don't just look at the fence there are captives in that place there are treasures in that place and he said let me show you it is not by physical fighting you don't have any physical weapon that can bring down that fence brothers and sisters jericho sank flat the bible records it flat this is what is going to happen to many of us tonight that's why that's why i i told you tonight's miracle service is not just for individuals it's for families enough of this fruitless trying doing everything by strength there is a system in the kingdom are we together the priesthood there are some of us here we're ministry some of us probably travel for a long time we are men of god we love god but it looks like there is a peg brothers and sisters let jericho crumble and you will see how cheap life can be there are people who have experienced the defeat of jericho but they cannot articulate the system that brought the defeat someone stood on their behalf through the ministry of intercession and caused jericho to fall for them they just found out that they entered cheaply and even a dagger brought victory so they can trivialize the existence of jericho jericho is real if you don't see it in your life a priesthood already brought it down for you are you hearing what i'm saying but everyone who must pass remember israel is god's own people what is the business between israel and Jer they had conquered other nations what do they need the treasures of jericho when you read your bible with an open heart you will see that there are gaps you have to be spiritual to get an explanation i fight i defeat jericho and i continue my journey but i carry rehab i carry treasures there is rehab there without rehab there is no jesus without rehab the whole fight was to carry treasures and to carry rehab mm. we look to yahweh yahweh our hope is yahweh yahweh we look to yahweh yahweh Forever Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh. We look We're soon going to pray the lord rejects saul as a king and now looks at david but there was no priest to confirm what god wanted 
the priest that was available still wanted Saul and David could not be king. God Almighty had left Saul and wanted David. Samuel said, no, I still want Saul and God remained helpless. Think about it. God kept begging Samuel, cooperate with me because David will never be king. That God intended it does not guarantee his manifestation. Between God's heart and your result is a priest carrying the ark. That's why you can have a dream. You see yourself collecting a, a job letter. You saw it in 2014, no priest. 2015, no priest. That your dreams show you Eden. Your life shows you Adulam. There's a system of translation. Are we together? And all of a sudden, the Lord now spoke to Samuel. He didn't quarrel Samuel. He said, Samuel, how long will you keep weeping? Seeing that I have rejected Saul as king. Rise up, carry your horn. Go to the house of Jesse. Go and anoint the next king of Israel, paraphrasing. And David remained there. I'm sure David will be in the wilderness and say, when will my change come? The change was in a negotiation between God. God already intended. In God's mind, this is the next king. And the king will sit with sheep and say, oh Lord, when will my breakthrough come? And God will say, the day a priest comes. All of a sudden, the priest agrees and God's will continues moving. A priest refuses and God remains. Moses was wise. He said, Lord, I already know you too well. Don't ever let us go here if your presence. If that act will not go before us, I'm not going. No. Moses said, because my going is as good as wasting my time. I, I, I know what is before us. And he said, my presence will go with you. And I will give you rest. Rest is a gift. Are you hearing what I'm saying? rest is a gift my presence will go with you and i through my presence will give you rest my presence will clear up the spirits and whatever you do when you read second chronicles 20 the same thing happened three kings came together to defeat the people of god and all of a sudden the bible says the priests and the musicians were now in front and they began to sing. You are good and your message endure forever. The ark started fighting them. Who is the fool that goes for war with gold in his pocket and silver? And the Bible says all of a sudden they turn. Can you imagine allies together? When the ark starts fighting for you, it's fearful. Are we together? Fearful. You are standing close to danger. It never touches you. Before it touches you, something touches it. The priesthood. The people started killing themselves. And the Bible says everyone helped to kill another. That's not a man fighting. That's the ark fighting. And all of a sudden, when the last two were left, he killed one. And the ark said, what are you waiting for? And he carried the knife, killed himself. And when the people came, they found gold, they found treasures. When the ark fights, it fights thoroughly. When you fight, if your hand paints you like Moses and start going down, you see that? They can defeat you. But you carry the ark and let it begin to fight. They kept the ark and they kept Dagon. These people brought an entity, a god, enshrined with spirits called Dagon. The Bible did not show us there were any physical contact. By morning, Dagon fell face forward on the ground. The superiority of the presence of God above any enchantment and any ordinance. When you see the ordinances that have been enshrined by your cultism and all of these things prevail, is because the ark has not been lifted. Tonight we have come in this place 
to initiate a system of priesthood over the difficult situations of people to say lord if i want you for a few minutes just suspend the issue of job or whatever whether it is job or the issue of delay it is still the same jericho causing it any part of jericho is still jericho are you hearing what i'm saying the jericho that causes failure is the same jericho that causes barrenness it is still jericho the bible didn't say jericho do you know look at the interesting thing jericho fell flat but the woman who stayed in the fence how god delivered her that she didn't fall flat with it is a mystery we don't understand but the bible tells us everything fell down flat to break every chain 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 is to break every chain break every chain break every listen brothers and sisters we're about to pray but i plead with you in the name of the lord to believe this mystery as simple as it looks and you will watch the wonder in your life stop focusing on physical things you will cheat yourself a thousand times nothing on earth has the ability to stand on its own if anything on earth stands there is a force keeping it There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Listen, the type of sword that kills the enemies is not as important when Jericho is down. Anything can bless you when the realm of the spirit is down. Listen. I have seen anointed men and women of God. People I know love God with all their heart. But they can never prevail in ministry. Because they have been fighting physically. They do everything. And sometimes you wonder and say, ah, look how great this brother is. Look how great this sister is. Is there no ear on earth to hear what you carry and honor you for it? Hallelujah. Listen. People make all kinds of gifts for me, as you can imagine. People make all kinds of gifts. And sometimes I see what people do, and I'm shocked. I say, life is so unfair. How can this brother, this sister be this gifted, and yet be begging? And you see someone come out from somewhere, and priesthood goes before him. And in one week, his life has changed. They can even be sarcastic. Priesthood will make them take life for granted. There is a system of ease that God wants to bring to your life. Please hear me. There are families here listening. You have done all you know. Why don't you allow God? Allow the ark come into your home tonight. And let it go around Jericho. Allow the ark come into your life tonight. Let it go around Jericho. And you will watch that which was dead come alive by itself. hallelujah i was told recently about a young man very nice wonderful young man who loves god everything you know in life including good things fight him and recently i think something happened they stole a phone and the person who stole the phone was within the vicinity of the guy and he was sitting down the man kept the phone there and police came and took two of them together 
I got a text. The person sent me a text. And when he narrated everything that was happening, I usually don't call people back. But I was touched. I called him. I said, where are you? He said, Apostle, look at my life. Nothing works. I said, how did you get to the police station? He said that um, they found somebody with phone and carried him. You think that's ordinary? Maybe that young man, breakthrough is coming for him. Another thief from somewhere steals, comes to drop a phone close to you. Does the police not have common sense to probe? And they carry you together. Because there is a spirit coordinating this. It looks like coincidence. Someone just falls from a chair. Just a little chair like this. And all of a sudden, one side of him paralyzes. It's a lie. It's not that chair that paralyzed him. Be smart. People fell from trees plucking mangoes. And they were fine. They cleaned their hands and carried the mango and went away. You fall from a small chair and paralyzes your leg. No. A, a coincidence navigated. The chair was just the scapegoat. It's not about the chair. Tonight, we are going to pray before I begin to minister. You are going to say, Satan, so you have deceived me through this situation. I've been focusing on the situation, whereas it is never really about the situation. It is about Jericho attempting to stand and challenge me. I thought it was all about job. I thought it was all about marriage. I thought it was all about children. I thought it was all about my background. Now I'm learning that anything would have still caused the same problem. Provided Jericho is standing there. But Joshua, gather the priests. Gather the priests. Habalakato Sebrakatadi Adabalaba. Listen, look at me. I want you in the mind of your spirit. Look at that job issue. Look at that issue and say, I will no longer be deceived. You are not the problem. The problem is Jericho. It is never that the business cannot work. It is never that helpers cannot come. Once Jericho is still standing here, nothing can go in. Nothing can come out. Lift your voice and begin Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Self time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it one more time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight, I challenge. I challenge the spirits, the spirit, the ordinances, the ordinances, the spiritual forces, the spiritual forces that are responsible that are responsible for the physical tragedies in my life. Physical tragedies by the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood, I declare. I declare that victory must be established tonight. Lift your voice and pray.
Hallelujah. Listen, the Bible tells us, listen, that we have a high priest and that that high priest is a man. The man, Jesus, he qualifies to be a priest, not the spirit, Jesus. The man occupying a priesthood that is higher than the Aaronic priesthood. The Bible says his priesthood is of a better covenant after the order of Melchizedek. A priesthood with no beginning, a priesthood with no end. That there is that eternal priesthood of Jesus. Listen carefully. We are talking about very deep foundational issues here. Jesus, the man, the priest that took his blood. The Bible tells us that he went to the heavenly tabernacle and poured his blood upon that altar once and for all. Once and for all. The advocacy of that priesthood is superior. Listen. Every enchantment and every divination on earth needs the sun to walk or the moon the bible says thou listen without the sun and the moon if god withdraws the sun and the moon every cause every altar dies immediately because every other priesthood on earth or cultic depends on the power of the sun or the moon are we together and so the bible says the sun will no more give you sunlight you will not need it the moon the sun and moon they are important but i'm introducing something jehovah god himself will be the light that sponsors your altar the same way listen listen that men can say we will do the sacrifice by 12 p.m when there is a full moon and they stand and manipulate the the they use geometry and everything to tap the powers of the sun and the moon and god says these things are inferior i come with another priesthood my own self the son of righteousness i am the light are we together i want you to be tired of what is happening in your life and family i tell you the truth when we begin to pray and i begin to minister many of you will see cheap victories cheap victories. amen this is when you will know that this thing is not just about physical efforts do you know brothers and sisters listen let me teach you something for as long as you keep focusing on individual physical problems your frustration continues i can tell you all of them are sponsored by a central force hear me all of them the same electricity is causing this fan to run the same electricity is causing the mic to work if you want a shutdown off the source of the power you can destroy the mic the phone will still work that's what we have come to do tonight a total shutdown then you will find out it was never a financial issue you will find out it was never a health issue it was never a promotion issue it was an altar issue it was an ordinance issue pray one prayer before i start ministering lord visit the foundation of every challenge in my life and my family lift your voice and pray everyone that ask it receive it lord visit the foundation why is ministry not working why is my spiritual life dying why am i not growing in the anointing what is the mystery oh god Hey, 
Lord, why the cycle of tragedies? One tragedy after another. One tragedy. Hallelujah. 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 Please just just be silent for a moment. I want to start ministering now. Let's just the Lord is giving me instructions. Just just be silent. Stand where you are. Um something is happening inside, outside, everywhere. The Lord is showing me something very strange. Now, um, let me just describe what I'm seeing. I'm seeing something that looks like um, this thing people wear. What's the name? This thing that looks like a um, lady's thing that men wear. That, that looks like a... Yes, that, that thing. That's what I'm seeing on many people. And the Lord is telling me on everyone that I see that thing in. There is a very strange deliverance because that I'm hearing hidden glory. And I want to pray. Please, you don't, don't shout, don't do anything. Just let me flow. You start bringing those people out. I'm going to pray now for those group of people. I'm seeing it. Because I'm seeing that those people, no matter what you do, your glory is never seen. You will struggle and try. But nothing ever happens. Now in the name of Jesus... I stretch my hands just silence everywhere father i'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit and tonight is a miracle service from overflow one two three and the main auditorium and those online anyone here that is a victim of this that i see by the power of priesthood i come as an act bearer an envoy tonight and lord i decree and declare let there be deliverance now right now right now right now bring them out i prophesy i decree and declare many of you will feel that physical fire upon your head i'm praying now physical fire coming upon your head let them go let them go i command liberty they must go i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i decree and declare they must go free Restore their glory now. Jacos Kapatariata and the Ketakas Kotariataji Rakatoka Tabalia. Hidden glory. That's what I hear in the spirit. Hidden glory. Hidden glory. There is glory, but covered in Jericho, covered by the fence of Jericho. Pakapatakato Sabrakatalia. Everywhere, inside, outside. I'm praying now. Please just be sensitive. Let's, let's do what God is directing us to do. Tonight there must be total victory. Total victory. Now I'm praying for families. The anointing of God will come on individuals. But it is for families. It will come on you. Once that anointing comes on you now. Know that God is visiting your family. Lord I pray now. I release the sword the sword of the Lord in the name of Jesus to every family if there is a family here whose glory has been buried nobody rises where are they I decree and declare now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost Parakata. I don't know what altar manipulated the glory of any family here but in the name of Jesus the son of the living God in the name of Jesus I command now by the power of the Holy Ghost let there be emancipation emancipation for every family hidden glory hidden glory the Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and then we beheld his glory The Lord is still touching people. The Lord is still touching people. That's why you came. You have done the listening. Let me pray now. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Something serious is going to happen here now. Now, I want to pray a very serious prayer. The Lord is leading me to pray this prayer. I just had in my spirit altars of poverty. Hold on. Just keep your hands lifted. Father, I'm praying. You spoke to my ears altars of poverty. If there is any family here in an ordinance, Shekes Katash, Shabraka Todopa Sabariadabaladaba. Under that cause, nothing works. There is nothing you do physically to be able to bless the family and support the family that works. In the name of Jesus, I declare right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let there be deliverance now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Altars of poverty. Everywhere overflow one, overflow two, overflow three online. If there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose family is under this siege, I decree and declare now your emancipation comes tonight. for all of you in front here i speak to the spirits you know my voice in the name of jesus and at the count of three you let them go now one two three go go out of them now out of every one of their destinies out of their lives Shekatos kabariata i invoke a priesthood higher than any ordinance upon their lives release their families now release their destinies now You know the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a vision now you know how it used to be in a slave market that you sell a physical person and collect money that's what i'm seeing in the spirit like people with only trousers sold and money this is exchange of destinies i believe that this is very prophetic let me be honest i know some of you may not believe it but the destiny you are living is not your own a king slaughtered his son so that he will remain alive there are men that exchange destinies they they a king carried his future and said child the death i'm supposed to die you die it there are people like that the destiny god allocated for you you know this is not your life your dreams and your vision show something else in the name of jesus play now lift your hands i declare the spirit that exchange and merchandise the destinies of men by the power of the holy ghost at the count of three if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose destiny has been manipulated i command now at the count of three be set free one two three be free now be free now! Be free now! Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Hallelujah. Oh, Sephia, Sephia, Sephia. Like Sephia, I'm hearing a name, Sephia. Who is that, please? Let's, let's hurry up. There is a lot to do. I want us to settle down and really pray for the sick. Sephia, who is that? Her eyes, Hamalama, Nanina, Matia. 
her eyes say her eyes your name is Sophia how about you madam the Lord will locate the person I'm standing here and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord touching the person God wants me to speak to I'll pray for all of you but in the name of Jesus Christ I deliver this lady now this lady on red I command that spirit that has tied down your life and your glory be gone for you it's over now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I release you now by the power of the Holy Ghost by the anointing of the Holy Spirit be set free right now set here the Lord bring liberty liberty now I command those altars to leave you in the name of Jesus Christ the anointing of the Holy Ghost bad luck bad luck I take it out of your life the spirit of I'm seeing a lot of bad luck I take it out of your life now release their destinies now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there is a lady a physical person appeared to you in the room this is a woman whose face you know like a relative physically where is that person please someone you were not dreaming appeared to you and there was a conversation from that day your life never became this please don't be ashamed I want to pray for you please don't waste our time we have a lot to do the Lord is ministering to me someone appeared I'm not saying you were in a dream this thing is somewhere you had a conversation with someone physical who is that person I want to pray for you please when you find that person let the person come quickly who is Ola I'm hearing a name Ola Ola I don't know if that's the full name but there's Ola O-L-A there's someone with that name Ola please don't come out if it's not your name Who is this? Huh? Your name is Ola. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Rejoice. Breakthrough has come to your family. This lady. I'm, I'm Kai. Look at the evil and the witchcraft I see over this lady's family. All these people are. Please help me find out. Why are they here? All of them, their names are Ola. Interesting. Come. That lady with cap. Come. Your salvation has come. Come this lady with lift your hands over now over now over now calm down madam come i'm seeing what happened yes a woman appeared to me that it shall be never would be able to physical physically are you seeing what i'm saying look at this when was that last year may she appeared face to face and tell me it shall never will be able well to no matter how whatever you take that you are not feeling fine the medicine will not work and from that hold on from that day something started moving in your body yes, yes. it will move and come to your back and come to your chest area look at this are, are you seeing a swelling here you are seeing this a woman appears to her i prophesy to someone here shakas koto parakatia embreketosu bataria talikata anyone in fraternity with the realm of darkness over your life i curse those people now i curse those people now i curse those people now by the anointing of the holy ghost madam i deliver you now in the name of jesus christ be set free now in the name of jesus the living and the dead don't have anything in common in the name of jesus the lord is speaking to me there are some of you all you see is dead people all you see is no matter a bulk of your sleep is encounter with dead people i'm prophesying lift your hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on such people now in the name of jesus if there is anyone here in strange encounters with the dead by the fire of the holy ghost i command a separation now the spirit of Hades, I speak to you. The spirit of Hades, Christ has triumphed over you. 
Oh death, take away your sting. Take away your sting. Hallelujah. There are a number of you here. I presume you are all Ola, including this gentleman on wheelchair. That's your son. That's your brother. What happened to him? What happened to him? Accident. Since when? 2015. And he paralyzed you. You can't move now. Oh dear. We are going to pray for the sick. But I want to pray for Ola now. Just, just stand. Bring for me the person. I'm seeing like a sword coming on one of you now. Aside from this lady, there is, there is an anointing coming on one of you. Let me speak to that one person right now. I'm seeing a closed door. This is someone's destiny. It looks like I'm holding the air, but I'm seeing that I'm holding a padlock in the spirit. Whose destiny is that? Among these people standing. Open, 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 open now. I command that destiny. Open. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You came alone? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't worry, I'll pray for the sick, sir. If, I'm, if I don't talk, are you a last, sir? No, don't, don't come out until I ask you. This is witchcraft. You would have died since last year, June. Yes, sir. It's God that kept you. I will pray for you. I've seen your case already. If I don't pray for you, in three months, you will not be walking again. This is stroke. What is wrong with you? Yes, sir. All my bad. This is what I'm saying. I'm seeing three months and you're on the bed not to rise again. We have to pray. This is witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you. Come, my dear. This lady. I'm seeing a very beautiful lady in the physical in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing an old woman hold my hands what fellowship the exchangers of destiny i hold the hands of this lady and i declare right now in the name of jesus let there be a restoration a very beautiful girl in the physical but i'm seeing the face of an old woman be free now in the name of jesus i command the power of the holy ghost upon your life i command that your destiny be restored your destiny be restored in the name of Jesus Christ, for all of you standing here, my, my brother, this gentleman, come. What's your name? What do you do? What do you do? I'm a printer, sir. You are a what? Printer, printer. Nothing is working in your life. I need to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I break this embargo I see upon your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, this row, I'm seeing deliverance, chicken feather. That's what I'm seeing, chicken feather. This is an ordinance over a family, just this row. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Kabaroko to sobaria talikata, jakaske barika dosiyanapata. Let there be emancipation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be emancipation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right. Mama, I know that it's not time to pray, but I want to pray for you. Please come, madam. You came alone. Let her come. You came alone. I, I did my first thing, and my aunt had been here. So one of my son friend brought me here. When you are talking, everything you say is just about as if you are. Where, where did you come together. from? I come from uh, Samaru. From of, Samaru. Um, Basawa. No problem, Mama. Yes, I, I want to pray for you because of something I've Thank seen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The suffering. The suffering. The sorrow. The sorrow. In my life. In my life. Must end. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will eat. I will eat the fruit of my labor. The fruit of my labor. Father, by her confession, Amen. let her be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that captivity is over. I pray for all of you now. In the name of Jesus, my dear, don't be embarrassed. Eh? Be careful with men. Come. 
I'm seeing somebody really destroying your life. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here. We love you. We don't condemn people, but be careful. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. The deception and the wickedness of evildoers. I pray for you now. Every captivity in our last family, whether male or female, as I stretch my hands over you, I command that it leaves you now. It leaves your family now. I say it again, it leaves you now. It leaves your family now. In the name of Jesus. For the last time now, an anointing will come on you. It leaves you now. It leaves your family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, everybody. Gentlemen, when it's time to pray for the sick, we'll pray for you. Huh? Just be patient. Please help him so that he doesn't strain himself. All of you lift your hands. One scripture and there is fire to deliver the oppressed now. Why are you here, my dear? You are with him? Oh, is your daddy. What? Okay. Since then, there is something that has been working on his body. Like you had an slave. accident? Yes, sir. Okay, and what happened? And since then, something has been working on his body, on his stomach, like snake. At times, the thing will... Are you seeing what I'm saying? So it was never about accident, you see. Accident was just the condition that made this happen i saw three months stroke hitting this man and him not standing up from the bed again but the lord will destroy it eh? just be patient we want to pray now let me show you one scripture and then we'll pray exodus chapter 15 quickly please 6 to 11 exodus 15 we're going to do a quick walk we need to cast out wicked devils out of lives and families thy right hand O lord is become glorious in power thy right hand O lord has dashed into pieces the enemy next verse 2 11 and in the greatness of thy excellency thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee thou sentest forth thy wrath which consumed them as trouble and with the blast of thy nostrils the waters were gathered together the flood stood up right as an heap and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea to 11 the enemy said i will pursue i will overtake i will divide the spoil my lust shall be satisfied upon them i will draw up my sword my hand shall destroy them next verse thou didst blow with thy wind and the sea covered them they sank as lead in the mighty water who is like unto thee O god among the gods who is like unto thee glorious in holiness comma fearful in praises doing not delivering doing wonders that's what you're about to see now lift your hands he said i will pursue i will overtake my lost my desire will fall upon the people of god i want to pray listen deliverance is not just about falling down and rolling up and down is 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 bringing the anointing of the spirit to bring a parting a separation the bible says the river separated teeth and hither separation to allow you move i want to pray are you ready now remember that after they moved the seventh time it was a shout the healer a shout not just any shout a shout that was sent like a word and the bible says the walls of jericho fell down flat that shout is what you are about to do but let me issue a command in the spirit in the name of jesus christ the one whom i serve and whose i am in the name of jesus i declare over every force in the spirit the covenants and the ordinances of darkness that have held the lives of god's people as they shout this shout wherever they are i command those spirits he said when they hear my voice they will run out of their hiding i command not only an exposition but a total separation are you ready to shout jesus at the count of three one two three in the name of jesus 
I command that fire to fall every power every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment go now go now go now every enchantment kaparakato soto preketelekata every enchantment every enchantment be free now hold on hallelujah i usually don't do this until i'm directed hallelujah i usually see pillars of fire standing by my left and right i just want to pass through you don't have to touch me except it is not god that has called this meeting if there is a force and a spirit it must be exposed as i pass you in the name of jesus thank you father i decree and declare right now by the anointing of the holy ghost every power every force every power every force every power every force you must go now now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus as i pass you that anointing like fire is coming upon you to set you free be free now free now free now free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ those of you outside lift your hands lift your hands i'm going to pass here right now the anointing of the spirit is going to begin to come upon you are you ready now thank you jesus you don't have to touch me just just allow me pass be careful be careful father in jesus name let it be over now there is fire now that fire is moving all across now in the name of jesus ordinances be broken now i'm seeing fire just around here where my hands are in the name of jesus let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now be free now let it be over now 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 in the name of jesus christ be free now in the name of jesus as i'm passing close to you an anointing is causing every power let them go the spirit of the lord is telling me to stand here right now in jesus name let there be deliverance now let there be deliverance now from every force of darkness every force of every force of darkness be free now i came here because i know that there are so many of you look the crowd in this place i want to pray for you i'm standing here my god look at the oppression that i see just standing here i'm about to pray right now and from the front to the back from the left to the right i want all of you to shout jesus something is leaving people already are you ready now your destiny must be open please don't take it for granted bring them out now at the count of three overflow three one two three be free now be free now in the name of jesus i command my god please help them jesus christ look what is happening here from the front to the back right now anyone here under the siege of darkness be free now be free now help them be free now lift your hands over flow three i'm praying for you are you ready to shout jesus again there are many of you you try to move forward but a force keeps holding you as you shout jesus now you're going to see something leave you are you ready father all those who have been held captive, i declare that as they shout jesus let your fire of deliverance come upon them one two three i release you now i release you now i release you now go forward i release you now delay broken i release you now i release you now i release you now i release you now 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm going to pray for everybody. But the Lord is saying there are some of you here. The call of God is upon your life. But there are altars fighting you. I'm about to release you. Oh God, I'm seeing 17. One seven. Where are they, oh God? Right now, to the back. Where are they? They have the call of God. But an altar of darkness. Tying down their lives. Mata soto pakaria kata. Be free now. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. Look up, please. There are 11 of you. The Lord is saying it is you that you will use to help your family. And the anointing, that anointing of that Joseph's anointing to distinguish you is coming on 11 people. Lord, where are they? To the back. Right to the back. That anointing, a destiny is rising no even if you are the last born i decree and declare let that anointing find you now let that anointing find you now the joseph anointing the joseph anointing that will cause you to save your brethren hallelujah please lift your hands overflow three it's not about falling down although there are several things happening here but i want you to just focus the last prayer i want to pray for you many of you will be surprised what happens to you listen i'm seeing keys like a key that was missing some of you were once you were destined for certain things and the devil veered off your life and as it is right now the treasure that god gave you you have lost it as i pray for you that restoration anointing is coming upon you some of you is anointings some of you is business connections lord where are they at the count of three let that fire come shout jesus at the count of three one two three receive that grace now restoration fire 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 please open your mouth and begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray great grace great grace great grace great grace new season, new season. Mama, look at me. It's over. Over. Forever. Over. 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 It's going to use you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please everyone pray in the spirit. 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 Please pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Overflow one, pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Overflow one, I want to minister to you now. Listen, please, I want you to believe everything. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands, all of you. There are some of you here, as I'm looking, I'm just seeing chains. I want to pray at the count of three. I didn't come to waste your time. Right now, that chain is going to leave people now. Anyone here under the sound of my voice, and there is a chain of darkness, overflow one. I declare at the count of three right now, let that chain be broken. One, two, three. Three, I command that chain be broken now. Help them, please. Be broken now. To the back. Shakaskopariata. 
Be broken, broken. Fire is coming. I'm seeing fire moving across the crowd. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break every force, every yoke of darkness. Hallelujah. Are you pregnant? Come. I'm seeing an evil spirit. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. By the anointing of the spirit. I release the destiny of this baby. You will not lose this baby. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. This lady, that lady praying in tongues. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace. For dreams and visions. The Lord is releasing it upon you great for dreams and visions hallelujah now i'm going to walk across this crowd please i just want you to release your faith release your faith and receive something now as i walk through i'm seeing altars and they are living right now thank you jesus father let there be deliverance right now right now right now right now right now let that fire as i move oh god let the angel of your presence move let there be deliverance it is over that's what the lord says to you over now in the name of jesus christ over 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 shabas kata jeketes kalabra katoziata kata over now in the name of jesus over by the anointing of the holy ghost it is over please believe as i'm passing you don't don't worry the anointing of god will locate you over now in the name of jesus christ let it be over now now over your life let it be over i'm seeing fire moving here like this who is that fire for in jesus name i stretch my hands let there be deliverance right now supernatural deliverance right now supernatural deliverance right now mama be free now in the name of jesus christ supernatural deliverance um i'm seeing a circle here and the lord is saying restoration of ministerial anointing a circle lord where are they there are people here at least four of you i stretch my hands let the anointing locate you the call for ministry the call for ministry the call Parakato Sedekatoshia. enter enter that level that's what i hear in the spirit enter enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension in the name of jesus christ hallelujah who is is it victory or victoria i'm hearing a name like a victory or victoria who is that please very quickly want to pray for the sick now it's like you are wearing something like blue blue who is that person what's your name madam yes sir this is your first time here no sir you've been coming madam look at me god is going to change your story amen i don't know you but yes. the lord is saying he's bringing breakthrough amen amen hold my hands look at me there is bad luck on your life my dear good things come but they never stay and the lord is saying to take it away right now be free in the name of jesus i take away that spirit from your life I set you free to move forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we go in with Victoria again. All the victories of Victoria be made free right now in Jesus' name. Can we go in from here? Everyone open your mouth and begin to pray. Prophesy. Say in the name of Jesus, I'm breaking forth spiritually. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a new level for me. It's a new level for me. Enter a new dimension enter a new dimension now in the name of jesus lift your hands i'm passing here now there is an anointing move move to the next level i'm prophesying to everybody standing here within the vicinity of this anointing step into a new dimension i release that grace now i release that grace now i stretch my hands everything that has held you down let it leave you now in the name of jesus my god look at this are you seeing the legs are rotting completely in the name of jesus be free now i command be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ 
Look at me, my dear. Go home and write it. Good news comes for me in 12 days. Lord, lose their destinies. I'm standing here and I'm, there is an anointing. Let the destiny be open now. Open now. Shaba Sokos Kaliata. Embreketo Sasikete Likata. Jekos Kadabalako Tesiyanabahasiya. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing here and I'm hearing, I have called you. Accept my call. Accept my call. Accept my call. Accept my call. My call is upon your life. My call is upon your life. Stop fighting. My call is upon your life. That's what the Spirit of God is saying. My call is upon your life. Accept my call. My call is upon your life. My mandate is upon your life. My mandate is upon your life. That's what God is speaking. My mandate is upon your life. You cannot fight it. It's an ordinance decided from heaven. My mandate is upon your life. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Pastor Lawrence, speed, come. Where is, where is your wife to be? Come, come, two of you. I see a grace for speed. Lift your hands. Enter that dimension now. I release that grace. Speed to your life. The Lord is taking away delay. Go and mark it. You are entering a strange level. I see you climbing a ladder. And the Lord is saying, it's time for your glory. It's time for your glory. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Collect that child quickly from Kenny. Collect that child. Speed that grace. Collect that child. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing that grace. A new dimension of speed coming upon your life. A new level of speed coming upon your life. A new level of speed. Hallelujah. Ejimi, I'm seeing something for you. I'm seeing, please stand up. I'm seeing a bottle of oil and I'm seeing dollars. A bottle of oil and dollars. These two dimensions. The spirit and supernatural resources, that grace, the Lord is multiplying it. I'm seeing a bottle, a bottle of oil. A bottle of oil the lord is giving you a voice not only in the area of finances but a strange demonstration of the spirit please be patient we are going to pray for the sick but tonight i i perceive god is doing something strange young man come come you and this guy two of you come stand step into a new dimension new dimension in the name of jesus you will never be the same this guy just lift your hands where you are come enter a new level in the spirit i release that grace now upon you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm looking at people and i'm seeing something rising from your stomach to your throat and the lord is saying is the spirit of prophecy lord i'm declaring right now it's happening to people right now it will come upon you like a mantle prophecy 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 from your belly from your belly prophecy i command those rivers makato sakata rivers of living water rivers 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 in the name of jesus christ this lady come you come quickly There is a grace. The call of God is upon your life. Enter that dimension of his grace. May the Lord give you visitations. 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 I bring you out of the cage that I see you in. I bring you out of the cage. I bring you out of the cage 
I see you inside a cage. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus, by fire, I bring you out. I bring you out. Ancestry will not fight you. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are soon going to pray for the sick. Where's, where's your wife? Where is she? The Lord is saying the powers will fight no more. Come. The powers will fight no more. 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 There are ordinances fighting this family. I see it in the spirit. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus, victory is established. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus. And he's stepping to a new level of the prophetic that has always been there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shalabarakatos. This usher lady. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will begin to see things before they happen. That's what the Lord is saying I should tell you. God is putting something in your eyes. You will see things. Shata sotosha. Marikatos kubariakata. You will see things before they happen in the name of jesus with precision with precision and with accuracy with precision with precision with precision and with accuracy where are these people that just married this lady welfare where is she now you and your wife where are they she's not around stand up let me pray for you on her behalf in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for your mother let the lord perfect her but i'm praying for you something wants to take finances off your life if i don't pray for you i see great suffering in the days coming it's like finance just dries up to the point that even your basic needs you cannot meet but i cancel it right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i cancel it right now in the name of jesus this fair lady an angel is pouring oil on your head that's what i'm seeing right now an angel is pouring oil on your head breakthrough step into a new dimension step into a new level in the name of jesus christ a new level a new level in the name of jesus christ wato where is she is she here i'm seeing a flag being raised up and the lord is saying it's a new season i'm seeing a flag being raised up in the spirit the lord is announcing you i'm declaring let that anointing come upon you a new season let that flag be raised in the name of jesus let that flag be raised you will never never be down let that flag be raised in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we're going to pray for the sick let's just flow god you know sometimes this is this lady you come yes say for my shame say it for my shame i receive double the lord is taking me to a new level and i receive it i lay my hands upon you in the name of jesus the grace for a new level is released upon you right now i command it so I declare it so in Jesus name I pray this gentleman you come confusion ends now in your life I lay my hands upon you I command confusion to end right now from your life in the name of Jesus confusion ends now over your life forever in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ confusion ends over your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing i will, I will prophesy generally but i'm seeing a family having the breakthrough of a new car and an anointing I, 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 it may not look like it's necessary for you but i'm seeing an anointing locating that family now 
this is this is a, a blessing of a car you will stand and testify i don't care whether the resources are there or not i stretch my hands let that anointing make it happen in the name of jesus christ let that anointing by the spirit make it happen right now help that person please let that anointing make it happen right now in the name of jesus make it happen cameraman come i want to pray for you look at me it will surprise you the kind of favor you will start walking in amen you believe what i'm saying lift your hands father let this brother drink of the grace for favor a fresh dimension a fresh dimension a fresh dimension of favor in the name of jesus christ this lady you come the lord is saying i'm rolling away reproach from your life everything that looks like reproach i lay my hands upon you i'm literally feeling like there are holes on your head and the anointing is going through i command reproach go and never return from her life in the name of jesus christ now we're going to pray for the sick please we're going to be very fast we're going to be very fast listen to me if you have any cancer related issue or barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i will want to pray for you by myself otherwise overflow one um, i'm in the main auditorium i want you to come out over all the overflows just come to the front stand up stand up come to the front of your projector stands quickly please come to the front of your projector stands for god's sake not to embarrass you but look at this woman's leg look at this look at this doctor look at this is this sickness look at how the whole leg is rotting already please quickly you're sick in your body come quickly stand if the people cannot move just keep them where they are or bring them close so that you don't um are we together now we're going to pray it will be very fast because our time is gone we want to finish on time the devil is a wicked person for these kinds of oppression are we together there are so many people in overflow tree and uh, god will grant grace pastor lawrence come you will join them today when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you hallelujah father in the name of jesus by the corporate anointing we pray these people have come expecting to be healed expecting to be touched i pray that your anointing will visit them right now in the name of jesus overflow one overflow two overflow three let there be a release of the corporate grace right now in the name of jesus christ we're free now in the name of jesus christ what's wrong with you my dear Huh? fracture where how long where is the leg it can't move and your hand don't worry it's okay and your legs lord jesus please walk help this lady miracle, in the name of jesus walk my miracle here i release today. that anointing upon you right walk now my miracle, i correct your jesus. body now hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah please stretch your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit if they are still praying for you outside just just continue please if your request is yet to come here you can quickly wave it wave it and let the ushers have it and bring it here quickly stretch your hands stretch your hands by faith believing that god will visit you don't don't stretch your hands out of unbelief if there are requests here to come please let them come here quickly Please bring them quickly. Shabakato soprakato baladabash. Unto you that answers prayers, O God, shall all flesh come. Rakato sodo brendege barakato shabradiski labaria. Endakato sata prakato jalabaria kato brendege degodos. 
please pray you are praying in the spirit you are connecting lord we are believing that we will not have to write this again be serious about it make sure you are connected by faith Shakatoka parakato parikata sipriada balarabash. Shakata parakata paroto subrias. Lord, arise in majesty. Arise in your power. Visit the case of people. Change impossible situations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shata prakato parakato parikata kete. Shalekete pranda kata parakatosh. Eketoka parokata pariata ba. Lord, let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus. Let this be the last time. Shabakata pakata 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 pakata. Endeketo rakato shada pragada baladaba. Lord, we believe in you. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Arise, O God of heaven, visit your people. Shabakata parada baroto soto predegete, legata kato prandegate presha de bele de bosh. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Please respond with a resounding Amen in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, this is not a ritual. I stand on behalf of your people. Lord, these requests represent different dimensions of demonic Jerichos standing between them and the place of destiny. Father, as I step upon this, let this be symbolic of the ark going around Jericho. Yeah. Hallelujah. Listen, you're going to shout Jesus. We're going to shout Jesus seven times are we together as a prophetic act over this i'm going to guide you and you will shout it for every one shout let it represent one day going around jericho that at the seventh time we are agreeing together that no matter what the issue is if you don't believe you will never never see the salvation of god but for believers you'll be surprised father that you hearken to this prophetic act I know God, I stand leading your people as we shout that name, the name of our high priest who has been exalted above the Aaronic priesthood, above any kind of priesthood. Are you ready now? I will call the number and you shout Jesus. Are you ready? Number one. Number two. Crumbling every mountain. Number three. Shabakoto Sopataya. Makrotoba. I tell you, I feel the fire of God as we're shouting this Jesus. Number four. Number five. Number six. I put an anointing on this seven shout. Let this be the shout that crumbles every mountain. In the name of Jesus. Number seven. Number eight. I decree and declare unto you prepare for strange testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ some of you even before you get to your homes or where you came from you will meet it waiting for you like a messenger in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please lift your hands let's take the prophecy and then we'll round up every shame and reproach that has lingered in your life shame and reproach some of you is a pattern across your family members in the name of Jesus Christ I command shame and reproach be rolled over your life forever be 
roll over your life forever. Be rolled over your life forever. Hallelujah. I release over your life supernatural grace for speed in life. Supernatural grace for speed in life. Supernatural grace for speed in life. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that every garment he saw Joshua the high priest and he said to remove that garment. Every garment you are wearing that is attracting bad luck, attracting all kinds of things. The Bible says to give them a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. I tear off that garment from your life. I tear off that garment from your life. Garment of reproach. I tear it off from your life. I tear it off from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare divine direction. Lord, what do I do? Where do I go to? Tonight, by dreams and visions and strange encounters, I provoke divine direction to come to your direction. In the name of Jesus Christ, master we have toiled all night but i prophesy to you go back this time around to the same place you failed i anoint you go and succeed i anoint you go and succeed i anoint you go and surpass the ordinary in the name of jesus christ every door that has refused to open your parents tried it refused to open the Bible says, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, O ye not doors, ancient doors. I come against every ancient door and every gate. Swing open now in the name of Jesus. Swing open now in the name of Jesus. Swing open now in the name of Jesus. Every help up that must arise tonight, not tomorrow tonight every helper ordained by god to rise up and come to your aid i provoke favor towards you from them i provoke favor towards you from them i provoke favor towards you from them listen whoever has what it takes to help you in the name of Jesus, I direct their eyes to you. I say it again. Whoever has what it takes to help you, I direct their hearts to you. The same mystery that bound Jonathan and David, I declare, wherever your helper is, let it be as it were for Jonathan and David. In the name of Jesus Christ, all those in ministry here i prophesy to you a strange unction upon the work on your hands step into a new direction step into a new dimension in the name of jesus christ every family here that has cried that's all you've known to do cry and cry and say when will god deliver us i declare that your weeping has endured enough i prophesy your morning comes and with it joy in the name of jesus christ those writing exams let the mercy of god the mercy that helped those who went before you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you, speak for you. hallelujah there are people here you are sensing that your spiritual life is dry it's not like you don't love god but revelations they don't come as they used to come again sometimes you open your bible you cannot even read to pray you are sensing something is wrong it's like you know your spiritual life is under attack in the name of jesus christ i launch you to the new a new insight a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter 
the Lord will open your eyes to not only listen to teachings but to get the spirit of the message there are some of us the devil has cheated us by allowing our prayer altar go down in the name of Jesus tonight let fire from heaven fall upon your prayer life let the quickening of the spirit fall upon your prayer life every wrong friend in your life whether you want them to go or not in the name of jesus for the sake of god's hand upon your life i separate you with them forever this night i separate you with them forever time wasters destiny wasters i cause a separation between you and them forever we're rounding up some of us here are plagued with the spirit of laziness spiritual laziness mental laziness physical laziness the bible says a lazy hand a slothful hand will that a one that deals with a slothful hand will beg he will become poor i decree and declare the spirit of productive diligence not just diligence the spirit of productive diligence i release it upon you right now are you ready to receive favor i will continue to pray favor upon your life until it works i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ even if you have seen favor in your life by the grace of god i release you to a new order of favor a new order of favor a new order of favor favor is not when you have money favor is when men arise by god to meet your needs if you have money and men don't come to your life you are not favored you are only prosperous you are not favored favor is when men arise that before you call they come they don't come and go they come and stay until the purposes of god have been achieved i call them now from the east the west the north and the south help us of your destiny may they appear before you in the name of jesus christ i don't know what personal request you desire from god but i release my faith with you and i declare that by miracle service may you will only return rejoicing over that issue in the name of jesus christ anyone here trusting god for a good job not just a job that you look like a slave a job with honor in the name of jesus i agree with you between now and next miracle service may god bless you with a job that will launch you to a new dimension everyone in business here the god factor the favor factor the help factor the ebenezer factor i release it upon your business i release it upon your field of endeavor in the name of jesus christ the bible says where thou hast been rejected so that no man will pass through you it says i will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations i decree and declare may your gates be continually open now i want to pray a prayer that may be very strange for some of us i want to pray that somebody will give you money listen hold on listen we are not money mongers this is not some carnal thing there are some of you this is what you need you don't need advice you don't need counseling you just need help straight help i pray for you you will be surprised it will look like a dream i pray for you not a helper not access thank god for it but a helper that will come with the financial resource to help you i stretch my hands and i release it upon you in the name of jesus christ the anointing for miracles help that guy the anointing for signs the anointing for wonders 
whether you are called in ministry or not in the name of Jesus may you carry it in your spirit from today begin to reproduce a new order of signs and wonders and finally I pray for you whatever needs to be done for your family members to rejoice in the Lord between now and the next 30 days whatever needs to be shaken whatever needs to be overturned in the name of Jesus Christ joy for your family members joy to your family members in the name of Jesus Christ let it be so in the name of Jesus Christ and for every for every worker here in the name of Jesus Christ after tonight rise with a new level of evidence become a testament not just a testament of a believer in Christ but a testament that you belong to this spiritual family the grace to prove it let it be released upon you in the name of Jesus whoever fights you may he find himself fighting himself whoever fights your family may they fight themselves they will point the knife at you and hurt themselves in the name of Jesus Christ